Yo, greetings, crow. You are early. Nah, you arrive precisely when you meant to. But welcome to humble aboard. We got the huge two builds to take a look at, indeed. As well as any other that are brought upon the stream. Now, first, we got ourselves a very close, a close range and far range, far range missiles or back weapons, and then close range primaries, which kind of don't exactly go together as well as one could hope. But I guess the trainers could be any range, really. But yeah. A neat loadout, all the parts are though not super optimized. I see the uh, coral booster on a lot of reverse joints, and I am not entirely uh, for it. Considering our jump height, I don't think, even think our jump height will be necessarily affected. Let's see. Yeah, it would seem our actual jump height's not any... Like, from what I've seen, I've asked people why they put, like, core booster on the back of, uh... Or on reverse joints. Because of their upwards thrust. And, uh... <laughs> that's just... It's strange, though, because reverse joints already jump high. So they figured that the upwards thrust will help them get even higher. But it doesn't actually impact the upwards thrust. Sure, it helps them get up there once they get up. But, I mean, you already have reverse joints. It's kind of overkill. A little redundant, methinks. But well, still neat, but yeah, definitely not the most optimized of niches, methinks. Hmm. So yes, let us first change this. We might as well get some good assault boost speed out of this. We might as well run a Lula, at least for now. <clears throat> what else? Ocellus, yep, close range. Although, since we're running Ocellus, we might as well just go a bit lighter. Go Basha. Uh, sprint chicken are pretty damn good for getting close and doing high amounts of uh, stagger damage, considering they're very heavy, and the heavier you are, the more damage in, uh, you know, direct hit, not a direct hit, damage and stagger or impact your uh, kicks will do, depending on how heavy you are indeed. Santai, we're already super close to uh, outperforming our gen, or quotes to E in shortfall, so we might as well just, or we have to really change the gen to get something more out of it. And also, the reverse joints are a super good pair with the Coral Gen. And since we're pretty highly aggressive, Coral Gen's great. Lighter, more Yen. And uh, with the reverse joints, we can pretty much run the Gen out. And then rely on our jumping to be both evasive and allow us to recharge while airborne. So we just jump up, and then it's back. Which is heat, heat. But yeah, even a reverse joint jump, as long as you're not super, super heavy, is usually enough to break at the FCS, similar to a dodge itself. Which is very neat indeed. Hmm. What else? I usually optimize any spring chicken builds, usually down to the mind beta. And honestly, I'm gonna have to do it again because we need the speed to get in there and just fucking spam kicks and uh, be close. Spring chickens are pretty good for more range weaponry because you don't need to you don't need to rely on your speed, and you can probably combo it to like heavier like uh, laser cannons and stuff like that. But if we're just using a shotgun and explosive thrower, we're gonna need mobility. And uh, Mind Beta will definitely be there. Mind Beta are goated reverse joints indeed. Alright. With that being the case, Alula for sure. So we get that Assault Boost so we can get those kicks off easier. Ocellus, because that's the range we're already in. Coral matches with our legs. Zimmerman and Explosive Thrower are honestly a very solid combo for such a build. So honestly, wouldn't really change that. Missiles though. Hmm. Funny thing, just got back uh, Demon X Machina. I see, that's pretty dope. That dude is the most epic 
All right, Traino is honestly an interesting place right now in the current game. Sometimes it also hits like quite often, doing some pretty nice stagger, even on almost at any range. If the build you're fighting doesn't really have to dodge distance to outpace it, they'll at least get hit by the one, which is indeed most epic. Javelin is pretty dope, but <clears throat> at a closer range that will probably be in to make this build work. Fortunately, it's not the best for such a ting. Also, having two weapons that stop us in place is a little risky. Explosive Thrower is definitely worth it as, you know, it does tons of damage, damage and uh, impact. But uh, the train is decent, but it's not as consistent as that. Honestly, <clears throat> either double Javelin. So we can have that high stagger at any range. Hmm. It's tough, it's tough, it's tough. Herm. Oh, so you're trying to make Armageddon to Armor Core? Wish you luck. Gotcha, gotcha. It's pretty dope. I wish you luck indeed. Hmm. 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 Yes, really, he's devil upon javelin or something like that. Yo, welcome, welcome into humble abode. Welcome, hello indeed. Welcome to humble abode. Hmm. I really like the javelin, definitely, but as for a close range build, it just, man, it just does not hit at close range all too often. At least not as often as you would want. Hmm. Herm. I think at least keeping one jab for any range is neat, but this other missile launcher is going to have to be something where we don't have to stop in place to use. We we'll just go for like a multi-06 or something like that, considering it's pretty much a gorted close range missile. Or we can make this, honestly, we can even make it um, Siege. Siege would be sick. Honestly, yeah. I like the idea of it. Because you already have two primary weapons that are going to be constantly oppressive, so you don't really need to worry about having that missile going constantly. And you always have the javelin kind of doing its work wherever it can. Although I go multi of six and siege instead of the javelin, because man, I I love the javelin, but it's just not as good. As, it's not as good at close range as it once was. And with having something like the siege missile, it's constantly on cooldown. It would be kind of better to have something to. Uh, you know. Hmm. 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 Herm. Yeah. I think. Switch this to Siege and then this. Multi 06. Get something there. Indeed. I think something like this could work a little more uh, effectively. Indubitably. Alright, for the frame though. Honestly, frame's looking great. Although only 310 on a build like this isn't preferable, but it is reverse joint, so it's not that, that bad. Um, hmm. Veril's fine. Uh, Coral Gen for sure. Pulse Armor, yes. Inner parts are figured. Legs are changed. Arms, definitely Basho. Core. Hmm. Could line up for three t uh, three 330, which is heat. Yo, Zane, welcome to Humble Abode. What'd you miss? Nothing. This is the first build we've been upgrading. We have this and one more lined up, and then, uh, yeah. Any other submissions for the night? Playing some hell divers? Hell yeah, dude. Hmm. 
Honestly, we have the range with our missiles on the back, so we don't really need to sacrifice to get that much more faster. Honestly, pretty good, pretty good. Indubitably. That'd be mine, right? Um, I don't... It does have the explosive thrower, but... Uh, no, I don't believe this from you. I believe this is someone else's. Just grab two from comments of the recent uh, Requiem video, or the last, anyway. Our boy. Alright, lost a bit of AP due to the arm switch. But honestly, worth it. Way more speed. Honestly, yep. Fucking good, man. You were referring to the next one? I. Well, it's whoever calls dibs out of uh, you, Zane, and uh, sparring. So I either one man. Alright, build number one completo. There's the build number two. Which is also another explosive thrower reverse joint, which is pretty heat. Double dibs. Makes sense, makes sense. <laughs> Aye, spawning it is first. Double dibs is pretty heat. Gotta hit him with the triple dibs, dude. The quadruple. You don't have a build you want me to optimize, but you want me to make one around uh, double scutters. I see, I see. Well, we'll see if we can get down to that later. I'll give you my initial take on such a build, indeed. All right, but for this one, alrighty. So, <laughs> the only uh, keepsake from the build description of this one is to keep the delivery boy, which, uh, I don't know about all that, but we'll see. I see, I see. You may have to repace that, but we'll see. Depends on how long this build takes, which probably won't take that long. Alright, so, oh god, delivery boy. God, even with the max lock on FCS, this is taking a while to lock on all this, but. These, what are these? It's. Oh my god. The delivery, delivery boy stops you in place when you fire it, too. That is. Uh, it's, it's kind of unfortunate. Delivery boy goes for a while, dude. Delivery boy OP. Alright, we got ourselves a full missile boy. Alright, alright. I think what I'll do is... Hmm. So all this with the explosive throw is pretty interesting. I think what I'll do, because then we're pretty much going to be in close range at all times to mixing kicks, explosive throw, and having all these missiles track them down. I'm going to split this, or uh, switch this to the uh, Siege Missile Launcher, just so this is... Because Siege Missile, honestly, is goaded at any range, even close, especially even close, honestly. Because you can fire it all around them, and then uh, we'll seek them down as they turn around, which is heat. Why would you ever use a snail head? Because uh, goaded... Entering a mission, you'll be a moment. Gotcha, gotcha. Do what you will. Alright, gotta keep delivery, boy, huh? Well, the rest of these weapons are pretty solid. If we're gonna be a close-range rat. We have constant missile fire. We have constant explosive damage. Or just the explosive thrower itself. Pretty good close range. We'll have the uh, much better slower missile set of the Act 2. And we gotta keep delivery, boy, so I guess this will be our loadout. Alright, uh, why are we are so slow, though? Gen and booster. PO4, honestly, 
great all-rounder booster, but uh, not for what we're doing. Honestly, we might as well rock some like the uh, SPD so that we can just get max speed. Nat max natural speed, anyway. We won't exactly be running and we won't exactly be chasing. We'll have range over most of our opponents. Max missile lock, Santai. Mm, actually, not horrible. Go Coral, though. Yeah, we won't, we won't become littered by that that much. We'll be able to dance around a lot more, though, and that will be pretty neat. But with the explosive thrower, we're we'll constantly pause the reset timer. So we'll see how it matches with Sentai right now. Our Ian load should be fine. We should have decent reload time. Pulse armor? Hell yeah. Uh, wouldn't really change the other parts that much. So let's see what we got. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pretty much six. Recharges. All right. Die, die, die. Damn. Chill. Alright. Oh, get in the hood. Alright, pretty simple gameplay. Just rat it up, kick it up, all that good stuff. Hey, Green, I'll send it on Armageddon. Hell yeah, dude. But Snail is horrible. Nah, bro. OP. For your upgrade. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, finally catching a stream. Nice. Hell yeah, man. Found, this, found the channel a couple days ago. Fuck yeah, brother. Welcome to Humble Abode. Welcome in. All right, all right, all right. Uh, what else can I think to optimize? Obviously, I would get rid of the goddamn delivery boy, but if it's a must stay, it's a must stay. I suppose, anyway. Plus, eh, I mean, it's kind of the worst. I mean, I can think of worse vertical missiles, I guess. But, you know, uh, should be good, should be good. Honestly, yeah, not much else I change. Very nice, very nice. Let's give it a Requiem Colors. And we'll move on to Club's build. Yeah, big chillin'. And just change the weapons and some inner parts. Big chillin'. Pretty good build overall. Alright. Let's get to remaking. Let's get to building. What we got? <laughs> Alright, let's pull up your build. Constant fire build, oh boy. Let's see what we got here. Dual Ludlows and miniguns, I see. I see, I see. I can indeed think of ways to optimize this. Yeah, I wish the miniguns were honestly better. Either they didn't overheat as quick, or they just did more before they overheated. Or their accuracy was just completely uh, untied to your recoil. And uh, FCS, like most other um, mounted weaponry. Mainly meaning, uh, oh, well, actually, I'd say, I guess not most. There's only a select few that aren't, like missiles and, like, Ludlow. Let's see what we got here. Double shoulder miniguns, devil Ludlows, snail head. <laughs> we love the snail head. 
Good old snail head. Mind beta torso. By mind beta torso, do you mean mind alpha? Well, I just see three arms. Mind alpha torso, gotcha, gotcha. Ah, uh, legs, very nice. We pick up any parts. Coral booster, gotcha, and GI. Close range of CS. What do we got for generator? Say coral gen? Yeah, coral gen. Assault armor. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. So does he take builds from the chat and upgrade them? I do indeed. I started the stream off by some builds uh, submitted through comments from the recent Requiem videos. And then, yeah, after we get done with those, it's anyone in the chat that wishes to have their build upgraded. Indubitably. You wrote the legs by accident. I see, I see. Are the how legs not meant to be it, or what's up? Hi, <laughs> hi, indubitable. Not keep them. All right, they're pretty good legs. Who goes next after this one? Uh, Zane. And then uh, you can call Dibs if you wish. Make sure to read the firing instructions or it won't be gimmicky. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, but what could the firing instructions be, dude? The way you use it is that you hold in order. <laughs> Let's see. Two blood lows, reload while the others shoot Gatling cooldown. Okay, I see, I see. I get you, I get you. I do enjoy me some builds that have uh, synergized reloads with the whole loadout. It is a good time indeed. Now, let's see what we got. So get close range. Fire him out. Show whoop. Oh. All right. right. Not a bit, not a bit. Oh. Very heat, very heat. The bolts do go burn. Burn, burn. <laughs> Alrighty, well, first things first. Uh, let's see how the synergy of reload works with the East Gins. It's going to be much better. Plus recoil, more damage, more impact. Yeah, very good, very good. Very good, very good. Alrighty, so... Yeah, so that's the thing. Uh, I tested a bunch with it when it first came out because I really wanted the Gatling guns to be like great, but honestly, in almost every case scenario, you're better off taking the Ludlows. They're lighter, they do more damage, and their tracking is... Like, here, let me show you. Their tracking is more or less independent from your own um, targeting and recoil control, as well as they keep firing when you dodge. So with the miniguns, say we do that, we dodge around, it stops from shooting. As well as the recoil does matter, it would become less accurate the more you shoot other weapons. However, the lead, uh, the, uh, well, Huxley, Bolt Orbit, it will keep firing even if you're dodging around. It keeps its accuracy no matter what, and it doesn't raise your recoil at all, and it does way more stagger. It does go on cooldown for a lot longer, which is not great, but honestly, 
you'll probably get your money's worth in the heat of battle before you get your money's worth with the uh, Vulcan minigun. Minigun's just honestly another, you know, constant firing SMG or machine gun, which can be pretty dope. But if your goal is to stagger them as fast as possible and just shred the fuck out of them, then um, indeed, a whole Vulcan uh, bullet orbits are the way to go. With this type of setup, you'll be able to just constantly dodge around and fucking keep blasting them, even if you're evading being on the defensive. The only other downside of Ludlow's is the fact that you have to re-put them out if you do get kicked. If you get kicked, they go back into uh, stasis, just like if you kick someone, their charge attack goes back down to normal. But yes. It is most epic. Yo, senpai, welcome to Humble Abode. You has arrived indeed. <laughs> so it's a build order so far got a goofy build i see i see that's pretty dope uh so far after we finish this one we have one more build to work through uh wait oh we have a build to work through and then i think crow and then uh yeah anyone else in dubitably all right yes this loadout should be most favorable in dubitably Is Zane Crow than you? Yep. Yes, sir. You have a perfect build in your mind? Uh, very nice. Does it happen to have a wheelchair? If not, then it's not perfect. Indubitably, indubitably. Alright, although the snail head is perfect in its appearance, it is unfortunately... Not the greatest head in dupe de play. All right, so if we run to Veril, chilling, still 330, 1800 stability, 10k health, very nice. Now with the East Jins, we can actually comfortably run Bastia, which is a four can sick. Uh, since we're at 335, we can probably sacrifice a little bit of weight, nice, and a bit of stability for a lot more health. Going with Mind Alpha, inner parts, definitely got to go to not Coral. Coral's neat, but not for this type of build. Alula for sure. And then Celis, Coral Gen is honestly great. Although, honestly, at this rate, you could probably run 20C. Yep, you could run 20C, even at 350. Damn. That's not bad, actually. That's hella good. Of course, you can change the expansion to whatever you wish, although Pulse Armor is the most useful in more scenarios. in Dubilis. I would recommend obviously having a melee instead of one of these Huxleys just for more damblage, but hey, that's just me, man. We should get Shatter to be the second Green Knight. That'd be pretty dope, dude. You need two Green Knights for everyone's builds? Nah, dude. I got it, dude. I got it, dude. This stream is too popular. I agree. Too popular. Must shut it down. <laughs> and then we do a tournament. And we put the Shattered builds versus the Green Knight builds. Ah, yes. Ah, yes, indeed. I would agree. Yeah, next time we reach the uh, season finale for Requiem after the 10th or so episode, we should, uh, I'll try to see if I can do what I would try to do for the first season finale, and that's do a 3v3 test, do three builds for one episode, and then do a 3v3 as the uh, ending test. I think that would be pretty cool. <laughs> very heat, very heat. You guys, they gutted the pulse missiles. Ah, I see. I don't really know if they changed the pulse missiles a whole lot since they introduced them.
won the armor drip tournament. I tournament. I see. Uh, me and Shattered are not me and Shattered. Well, uh, me and Mecha are talking about uh, doing a armored drip contest, an armored decor type of uh, contest pretty soon. So we'll probably get that rolling after the cosplay tournament. Which, if any of you do not know, I'll be posting a uh, uh, promotional video tomorrow about it. We're doing a three v three cosplay tournament on the fourteenth of this month, I believe. So. That should be pretty fun. If any of if any of you are on Xbox and are interested, you can join the uh, Fight Club Discord and get situated. Should be a pretty fun time indeed. There's no like cash reward or anything like that this time, so it should be pretty damn casual. Me thinks. Pretty fun as well. I see. I see. They made the charge time and reload. Uh, mm. I get you, I get you. You're back, what'd you miss? Not much, we're nearly done here. All right, Feral Head, yes sir. Mind Alpha Core, my Zolp, such a 330 speed, full yeah, man. Uh, Lulo sells, yep, all right, all good. All good in the hood. Optimized up, baby. <laughs> I see, I see. Yart. All right, let's give it the paint. And then we'll go to the next. All right, all right, all right. Yep, faster, more durable. Very heat, very heat, very heat. All right, Zane, you're up. We'll be able to get rocking for us today, tonight. Time is relevant. What does thou have in thou sleeve? Is it in a comment? Will it be in the chat? What would we have? Me wonders. I see, I see. I see, Mr. Club. Sometimes you got a Ricky Rat, you know? Sometimes you got to call dibs, brother. Got to seize the moment, man. I was saying you got a build. I imagine he's typing up a build list. We shall see. We shall see indeed. And I believe the vest we're taking a look at is going to be what? V. Was it V6? Let's see. Yep, V6. Indeed. In comments, you think? Gotcha. I'll check the most recent video. Is it Fear Maker? Let's build it up. Alright, Barrel. Tang. Ephemera. You're betting on a build with no melee? I see, I see. That name does ring a bell? Aye, aye. Alright, where? There we go. Femora. Vero legs. We got ourselves a Tetra. A heavy Tetra boy. Right, weapons. Dizzy and ear shots. Very big boy. I can see the upgrades now. Dear God. <laughs> right, 
Booster Gridwalker. Do we see in Gridwalker on a lot of builds? I guess for the upwards thrust, indeed. Pretty solid. Upwards thrust. FCS Waltz. Guess might as well. Generator. NGU. NGU. Alright, no damn NGU. You mean NGI? I'll assume you mean NGI. Pulse armor. Alright, alright, alright. Let's test it out. But should we, eh. Yeah, actually, we should save it as a preset before we get too lost in the sauce. Upgrades are definitely going to be Majestic, or Quan Cheese, you right. Zuka, that I forgot the name of. Yeah, the Quan G, or the Swan G, either way you wish to say it. You're not too far off, that's for sure. You're trying to think like an optimization Maui, indeed. Can't a guy joke around a little? I uh, indeed. No, you cannot. This is a space for no jokes. Only epicness, epic sauce, and stuff of that nature. All right, all right, all right. So as the description would go, hover above the opponents and rain down hail from a pawn high. Ricky Rat. Damn, after all that, he ain't dead. Dear God. Bombs. Alright, so yeah, Dizzy, that's the difference between grenade launchers and bazookas. Uh, their damage is usually higher, but as well as their blast radius is usually pretty naughty, which is great. Um, however, yeah, Dizzy's have max blast radius. Pretty damn solid. Although the reload being seven seconds is uh, yikes. So yes, I would indeed favor a, uh, a Quan G or Majestic over such a thing for faster fire rate. Plus, dude, the Quan Gs, honestly, their fire rate being that of 3.4 seconds. Sounds like a decent amount of time, but honestly, it is fucking great. It is so great in the heat of battle. You can fire these off so many times. Me and Shadow, like, I was helping him refine some of his tank builds or one of his. And uh, I was testing it against... I was fighting him with a tank myself, and I was running Quan Gs and stuff like that, and oh my god, they fire off so fucking, so many times, it is great. Now for our ear shots, ear shots themselves are a pretty solid choice regardless, however, we'd actually get a lot more value if we could run double Fasan, because oh my god, these things are nuts. Technically, on stats right now, they don't do as much damage, um, however, that's because of their like initial hit and some of their lingering damage, if you hit them, and especially on direct hit because they can't move out of the uh, AoE, it will do a lot more damage than your shot, which is great. And they travel at the speed of light, which is also sick. Yeah, so honestly, I would just upgrade these to facades, and you'd be fucking chilling. This have a loadout, it's dangerous, man. Yeah. Bombus. Plus, now you can actually mix in your kicks pretty efficiently without needing to rely on like splash damage and stuff like that. Oh. Hell yeah. And they come back uh, much faster than the. Well, not that much faster, but come back a bit faster than the. Uh, Although well, pretty much the same time reload relative, considering they come back a little bit faster than the ear shot in terms of basic reload, but they also take a little more time to charge up. So, but the fact that they give you the charge and the normal, that's more variety to your build, it's less predictability, it's overall just epicness. What if you slap two LCS on that? Oh, for sure. I mean, that's what I would do. However, for this type of build of what it is, Considering how similar the earshot and the facade are, I'd definitely run this. Although, yeah, if you want just constant damage, constant oppression, the better choice would definitely be LCS, my beloved. But for the type of build that it is, I would say uh, facade definitely epic.
If the build can fit Quan Ji, I'd say always use them. Oh, for sure. They are just epic. Similar damage to the Majestic. Probably similar proxy debt, although I don't know exactly. I'm pretty sure the proxy debt of the Majestic nowadays is 8 meters, so I imagine the Quan Ji is probably similar to that. Uh, but it doesn't really matter, honestly. Similar damage with better um, reload just makes it so much fucking epic or just heavier so if you're gonna be a heavy boy definitely if you're a build that can run it without costing too much weight and a uh, loss in speed then definitely for sure quadruple grenade launchers would be solid in 3v3 to punish someone oh yeah for sure an anti-air <laughs> platform on legs you true you true you right you right With a mystery of manual aiming? Oh, for sure. Hell yeah. Indubitably. Indubitably, indeed. Is it possible to fit two Quan Ji on, and two LCS on Lamin legs? Um, We'll theorycraft that in a second, but I'm not too, too sure. Um, honestly, probably not, but we could definitely try. I know you can get, um, what's it called? You can get two Fasan and two Rensetsu. Which is a pretty meaty combo. You have to sacrifice a bit, but honestly, pretty good. Imagine just absolutely kiting someone, staggering them at range with the Rensetsus, and they're just fucking boom. Fasan. Jesus Christ. That's some power. But alright, for parts, uh, Veril won't really change much. Uh, core, nah. Probably gonna keep Ephemera Arms, but we'll, we'll come back to Arms in a second. Gridwalker. I'm just gonna upgrade it to Coral. As we get a little bit better in some other stats that are great. Upward thrust and consumption loss isn't great. As well as the speed itself, not great. But the fact that it's a better uh, booster for our weight. And will allow us to get more distance and all that good stuff. Pretty damn solid, I'd say. Our uh, generator, pretty much have to run Coral. Wouldn't even run anything else at this rate. Um, Walt, yeah, I mean, imagine. Uh, we might as well. Veril, definitely. Ephemera, can we run heavier and more durable at this rate? Because we're not really going to break out of 250 in terms of uh, actual speed. We can run Bastio, totally, totally, totally. Yeah, no. Can't run Bastio and you're going heavy, then Ephemera is always going to be as the best bet, me sinks. Alright, a little bit of tweaking the uh, inner parts. Change up in the loadout. Yes, you get yourself a much uh, faster, more consistent, and some would say more powerful. A uh, lot up, which I would say indeed, indubitably. Probably gonna get off after this. Play your game, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I see, I see, I get you, I get you. Yeah, I think it's a no, but if you can, could be really mean to hover around them. Yeah, I see, I see. 380 speed while constantly firing those. Oh, for sure. I'll tell you what, here we're going to give us a paint and we'll try to really quickly uh, theorycraft that up. Alright, alright, alright. Same durability, just a little bit of optimization in inner parts and weaponry. Better heat, better heat. Alright, let's see what we can do. I won't be able to go bash because we have arm over the limit, yeah. Wait, we were trying to fit on Devil Quan Ji and Fasan on Lamb, or we're we trying to do something else exactly. I don't remember if we're trying to do still that, but let's see. Just run this. 
Definitely, they'd be fucking nutty. Oh, LCSs? Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, honestly, these are... I think LCSs are lighter, right? Let's see. Are they? They are. Ooh. You can... Oh, well, this is quantum G's, but we'll see. Ooh. Ooh, you can. It's possible. We've developed a demon. Yeah, I'm always shocked at how... Dude, the LCSs are just fucking goaded, man. In almost every sense of the word. I'm actually going to start my uh, ranked grind up again pretty soon. And the, after I get S rank, I might just... Uh, won't guarantee it, depending on how motivated I am by the end, but might try to get uh, number one as well in the uh, server leaderboard as well, after I refine some of my builds through ranked. But yeah, no, this is kind of nuts. Yeah, this could be pretty good. This could be not too bad, they say. Oh. <laughs> How much else muscle can we? Oh, probably none, honestly, at this rate. Yeah, not one other head could fit. Probably not one other type of arms. Any other core? Probably not, huh? Nope. Ooh. Get a little more durable. <laughs> you could run a Kushi, but you wouldn't want to Ian load, oh my god. Could switch to Majestic for more reduced weight, true. Maybe we can get better head? Yeah. Me thinking the same thing. Let's see what we do. That's good. Oh, you can already get upgrade your head. With lamb legs himself, so I don't really need the stability increase. Alright, knock head. It's the best we can run. Yeah. Doubt any other arms are opened up anymore. Nope. Damn, look at this guy. Alright, have a good one, Zane. Have a good one, brother. This might be a demon. How much is way? Only 74,000. This could have fit, uh, fit in the uh, lightweight in the uh, leaderboard. <laughs> this might become quite the menace. God damn. So it's either you go a little more damage, but slower with yeah, a little more durability, or higher. Oh god, this is great. This is pretty heat. Wow. Just wow. Mm, okay. So the recoil from after you shoot LCS isn't uh, the greatest with this pairing, but not horrific. Come on. What is the recoil difference between Majestic and Quan? 90 and 85. Hmm, interesting. Most interesting. Still pretty solid. Actually, you don't like this. You really don't. <laughs> ah, this is power. This is absolute power. You must remember what you help build, Senpai, when you see it raining above high. 
We are reforging the meta, you and I. They will sing songs of our horror that we created. Good God. <laughs> that is pretty good. Sad wheelchair noises. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Hi there, peeps. Kind of new to Armor Core PvP, but found this YouTube channel while looking up builds. Hell yeah, brother. Welcome to Humble Abode. If you are new to PvP and looking to uh, learn a little more about how to optimize builds, you have uh, come to the right place, indubitably. Welcome to Humble Abode. Lamb arms can fix that. Oh, the recoil, huh? Probably. Oh, yeah. Recoil control way better. Oh, hell yeah. That is the way to go. Actually, now we change your arms. Can we upgrade our head even further or nah? Probably not. Eh, kind of. Debatably. Higher defenses. A little bit of extra AP. little loss in stability. Uh, massive armor decor increase, so yeah, I take it. <laughs> Dear God. Dear God. Yeah, we've uh, created something with a demon. This is pretty good. What about ephemera core? Uh, I think it's going to be too heavy. Yeah. A little too heavy. I don't think any other core will fit with this right now. Everything's overburdened. But that's alright. Yeah, damn. Maybe switch to Kushi and then ephemera, but we, I mean... I doubt that that would put out or give us enough gen output to even justify it. No, I can't even anyway. Not curl is definitely the way to go. Plus, coral with the bazookas on lamb legs or any type of tetra, goaded. And we have any we have four weapons that can stop us in place while falling, which is great. Which means we can just do this, run out of energy, fire these off, keep us in the air, and then energy back. We fly forever. <laughs> Things pretty dope. There's a fast tetra. Oh hell yeah! These are the Lamengeier legs. These are the uh, latest legs they've added in the game. Quite a while ago when they introduced ranked and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, these are incredibly fast. They are the fastest uh, buddies in the game, pretty much. Whenever you're in a hover mode, pretty much whenever you use the special mode of any leg, so moving around with the wheelchair legs or hovering with the tetra stuff like that you pretty much have different speed values. So if we look at the left side of our screen, the little box says numbers, 347, that's our current boost speed, meaning, meaning our current movement speed. But when we jump up, hover mode goes up a lot higher, 380, 390 type deal. That's where we'll go up to. And that is nuts. That is pretty nuts for just normal cruising speed without you know sprinting, salt boost, or dodging. That's fucking insane. That is great speed. So much so, they actually nerfed it. Right now, this would be like 390, flickering above but uh, they did nerf the speed a little bit. Honestly, not enough, I'd say. But uh, yeah, you'll see a lot of these in uh, PvP for sure. They are pretty good, pretty good. Very popular, very popular. <laughs> yeah, it's just nuts.
A with a recoil can do that. You had no idea. Ah, uh, your recoil be kind of ricky rat. Yeah, but this can be nuts. I can see this being great, like type of support um, build format for a uh, in threes, as well as obviously pretty damn goaded in ones as well. That's kind of nuts. That, that ain't bad. I would not be surprised if uh, if we start playing with this a little bit that we'll see it around. Honestly, it's very good, very solid. In fact, I'll uh, I'll put that on the uh, the back burner for my uh, personal builds. Might test it around in PvP, see what uh, happens. But, all right, next up, next up. Now I believe we're taking a look at your build there, Crow. If you're still here. May I ask a question about uh, part type? Can't quite wrap your head around it. Yeah, sure thing, man. Low AP can be your death, but if you uh, master the lamb legs, you will become a menace. Oh, for sure, definitely. You start to like really dial in on the movement tech to uh, you know throw off the enemy's FCS, like moving forward and stuff like that. Because when you're on lamb legs, you're standing still. Your energy will go down very slowly, as it normally does, but even slower than normal if you're moving around. And if you move around forward, making all your boosters move, you move way faster, or you move faster technically, as well as you start to uh, lose more energy quicker. So if you shift that into like moving right, left, back, forward, I believe there's someone in the Discord showing some videos on, on the attack itself. It is nuts. Fuck, Knight has more toys to play with. No fun. Ah, yes, yes, yes. If he's not uh, next, you want the double scutter build? I see, I see. I tell you what, let's make a quick stir scutter build while we wait for Crow to come back and throw his build in the uh, thing. Alright. Good old scutter. One memento. All right, well here. Let's give a uh, crow a second to come back. Uh, I'll be right back.
I've returned, my bad brothers. But what have we? I have returned, where were we? Double scudder build, that's right, that's right. Uh, whatever y'all been talking about to us, that has gone. Melee is melee. Crow's back, nice. Feel free to uh, let us know what your build is there, Crow. We'll build it up after we get the scudder build rocking. All right, scudder build, scudder build. All right, first, let's give her just a basic frame. Uh, might switch Bastio back, depending on uh, what the recoil pattern will be. All right, recoil of the scudder is 15. Not bad. Uh, Best you should be the it or handle it. Oh, well, would you want this to be an aggressive build, a close range, or more of a elusive build? Gotcha, gotcha. Thing evasive, gotcha, gotcha. All right, missiles, it is. All right, all right, all right. I'll go something like Lula, SPD, Walt. And VP twenty C probably it was switch to Alba by default. Three seventy, not bad. Oh, can we go Melander? Hmm, technically not. Legs are just got to be a little more durable. Not bad. Yeah, something like this would not be bad at all. Let's take a look, take a little spin real quick, like. Alright, scudders because, well, you have to, is the name of the game. Uh, Javelin betas are incredible at medium to long range. Decent at close range, but, you know, a little bit. Close range is when they start to dip off, but um, they are indeed the most epic at medium to long range. The stagger and damage is all right. Or the damage is all right, but the stagger is fucking great. The guidance is at most epic. Considering it goes around, kind of like the master flank, it tends to go around a lot of objects, making it super fucking good. Um, but you yeah, know, it, uh, is subtle indeed. Hard to dodge at medium to long range. Close range will tend to just go right over it as its blast radius won't get you, but man oh man does it work as an evasive, uh, kiting tool indeed. We get the SPD booster because it has max thrust, decent great weight, allowing us to reach 370. 370 boost speed, as seen in the bottom right there, is fucking pretty much the golden standard for kiting builds as it's pretty much the fastest you'll go with having decent weaponry. Uh, some people aim for 380, but they have to sacrifice a lot of defense and a lot of other weapons, which is just not worth it at that rate. Most builds are going to be able to assault boost you and get close anyway, so you might as well have some chunk, um, except for when they're really heavy. Other, but if they're really heavy and they can't even reach you with assault boost, they're probably hitting the only like 370 with assault boost, and that's just not it. And since we're at 370 naturally, our assault boost is 480 for 479, which is great because, again, SPD, max... Uh, Max uh, thrust or normal speed is great, uh, as well as our assault boost is pretty damn good and consumption, which means we can assault boost away at a great speed 
and uh, much of your energy won't be spent doing it versus other people. So you'll be able to go pretty far and uh, decently fast as well. So yeah, preferably you just get above 360 meters so you're in your medium range. Fire out the javelins and then yeah, spray and pray your uh, machine guns. Indeed. Recoil control is pretty solid. Yeah, honestly, it's great. You can just spray and pray these. If you want a better outcome, better weaponry, definitely switch this up to the Rinsetsu RF. A little heavier, so you might have to nerf the legs a bit. But man, they have less recoil, higher damage, higher stagger, slower fire rate, but man oh man, do they do the fucking trick for such a thing. Hell yeah, beautiful gifts, eggs. Hell yeah, brother. Eggs are the way. When in doubt, remember egg. Egg in Dubilis. This to be the eggless. Excellent build indeed. Very egg man. Alrighty. Let's reconstruct Crow's build, methinks. Use like a, the uh, look. I want you to mess around with them. Oh, they're pretty dope, yeah. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, evasive is definitely the way to go. There are much stronger close range stagger weapons. So going close range would definitely not have been the play. But hell yeah, dude. Alright, let's scroll up and see Crow's build. Indeed. There we are. Dual tanners, huh? I see, I see. Wait, do tanners or trainers? What are we doing? Turners. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, do tanners. Gotcha, gotcha. Pulse blade, better heat. Right, pulse blade, laser drones. Funny, a lot of people take uh, laser drones for being like a range weapon, but they're, well, long range, medium range weapons, but honestly, they're close to range in my opinion, or they work best in there anyway. Parts, mind, alpha head. How core? Mind off the head. How legs and core get you, get you, get you. Right. With the arms. Not VP 46s. Gotcha, gotcha. Very heat, very heat. Fugal. Fugal. Waltz. And Suntai. Then nothing. Nothing. Gotta go pulse armor then. Alrighty. Speed build. See what we can do. Oh shit! Didn't mean to get rid of that. There we go. Right, let's test around. So a melee, despite having more or less a, I mean, yeah, yeah, drones close range. These can work at close range. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let's we'll see where we go. Yeah, that stagger takes a while. Taking a while. What's the recoil on these? 
13 a pop. Ooh, not bad. I mean, Sebastian Arms could definitely do it, and that helps our melee as well. And our speed and defenses, so might as well. Um, so yeah. Um, hmm. Good old Tanners. Well, we're going to be in close range. Well, we have the Walt FCS for any range, although we have a close range melee as well as drones. Herm. I would say. Hmm. Herm. Herm, herm, herm. Well, we already have slow firing assault rifles anyway, so I would say we upgrade these to the Rensetsu. Z. Now we're getting a lot more stagger at these ranges. Um. Hmm. Leads them to a missiles. Could run the javelin. Yeah, say the more medium range with the javelin till we get close, or till stagger's high to get close, proc it, and then uh, melee. That could be pretty solid. That could work out decently. Let's see if we can't run VP44D. Well, depending on what our other. Stuff is going to be in the end. Might upgrade it. Nah, I think you run Fugle so you can uh, make up the distance. It's VP46 arms. VP46 arms. You had VP46. Ah. Yeah, no, we had VP46, didn't we? Am I missing something? I changed it to Basho just a second ago. We had VP46. <laughs> ah, indeed. So how does this work? Uh, do you just say whatever build and you optimize? Pretty much, more or less. We're working on a build right now, but if you have a build, you can drop the uh, list of parts in need here in the chat, or you can leave it as a comment in the most recent Requiem video, and then, uh, yeah, we take a look. See if we can't optimize it up. Indeed. Yeah, no, but we had the 44.6, or the VP46 before. Upgrade to Bashio, man. Alright, Fugle is pretty damn epic, and honestly, mm, actually, f mm. Oh, damn, really? Only that... Damn. The Lula and SPD's uh, difference between melee attack thrust isn't actually as big as I thought it'd be. Very nice, actually. This will help us get a lot better speed despite our more uh, tankier appearance, our more middleweight appearance. Uh, can we run VP20C? At a, nice, we can't 350 now? That's fucking heat heat. Alright, go to loadout. Go to set. Go to inner pots. Should be a pretty nice buy. Honestly, this is a goaded loadout. It's pretty solid. Me thinks. The only thing is, you have to learn about balancing the melee, but honestly, hmm, actually, what I'm talking about balancing the melee. Just choose a better melee for ranged. There you go. Now you're good. I can stay at a range whenever you want. Don't have to worry about thrusts, don't have to worry about nothing. Fully rely on the SPD's uh, thrust and weight to help you out at range and just use your melee. Use it up. Looking good. Wait, what you thinking, Crow? You like it or not? What you thinks? What thou thou think? What be the verdict? Now you can operate at your Walt range with superior weaponry. Absolutely good missile for stagger buildup. 
Absolutely good. Weapons for decent damage, your main stagger buildup, and your melee is your punish still. Although now it's actual range melee, which definitely helps things out a bit. Indeed. Noise, hell yeah. If you ever find trouble hitting your shots, you can always, of course, upgrade the arms to something else with a more recoil control. Or to switch the uh, FCS to PO5 max medium range assist, which you're already close to it already with the new buff. I don't know why they decided to buff the uh, Walt, but they sure did. But yeah. All right, we'll build up your build here in a second. Indubitably. Let's get the paint going. All right, we are faster and more durable. Let's go. This is uh, certainly the build. He did not skip arm day, it would seem, but skipped head day. Let's go. All right. Mind alpha reverse joint. Mind alpha reverse joint. I think you mean mind beta licks. Ah, uh, indeed, indeed. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Double traino. Pretty neato build. What else we got? Plasma thrower and Zimmy. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank God. You're a good mate. Gotcha, gotcha. We posted them in a second. Gotcha. Love the trainos. Are they still viable? Uh, yeah, they're viable. They're just not as good as they used to be. That's for sure. Right, what else we got? The max normal boost speed booster. So I'm guessing SPD. Talbot and Aurora. Gotcha. Or Orta. Um, well, if we run the Orta, we go E and shortfall, so. I don't know about all that, my friend. Guess we gotta go with the, yeah, big coral. Alright, this is, uh, this is definitely one of the builds of all time. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Let's build these pretty neat, pretty heat. Uh, max recoil control is pretty dope. All right. All right, let's do a melee build. We have a shotgun. We don't need the recoil control. Get the melee damage. Very heat. My beta legs probably the best reverse joints in my opinion. Uh, sure, if you're going heavy and you want to, you know, get that uh, that stoppage for um, true comboing in like a laser cannon, then yeah, spring chicken can be pretty good. 
uh, SPD on a reverse joint, a melee-esque build. Uh, sounds alright for the speed, but honestly, a Lula's gonna be the bet, because it gives a lot more assault boost speed, and still we keep decent normal thrust as well, which is great. Um, this will allow us to uh, get our kicks off a lot more often. Talbot, max close range, might as well be in, considering that's our only range. Celis, Coral Gen. Thing about Coral Gen as well with reverse joints is because of the jumping nature and the height, it makes it very nice to regenerate your um, used terminal. Oh god. Terminal on a build like this, I do not recommend. Uh, terminal is best reserved for a build that is planning to get that low and be able to make the best out of those five seconds. Which, you know, if you're getting your enemy that low anyway, you're both really low, then just pops, and then, you know, you're going to win now. Uh, that's fine, but uh, terminal is best in the best place or on the best type of build when the build is high DPS. So imagine like a Larpster build, triple lasers, or quad lasers, something like that. Somewhere you can do a lot of damage in a short amount of time to make the best out of those five seconds. But if you're in a 3v3s, then terminal is just your best bet no matter what. But, you know. Alright, we'll rebuild your build here in a minute, my frame middle. Alright. Let's see what we got here. So double trainos. Hmm. The thing about having trainos and a melee weapon that stops you in place to use, like the hammer, is you have now two weapons types that stop you in place on uh you know, these type of legs. Which isn't the greatest, especially on a lighter build where you're gonna be taking a lot of hits. But we can maybe make it work, methinks. Alright, core. Just run Alba for now. What do we do? So, in a perfect world, we hit all our shots. And our zip. Our hammer. Make sure you're, like, above or right below your opponent. Verticality is the biggest weakness to the uh, hammer, unfortunately. Indeed. Oh. Herm, herm, herm. Yeah, but honestly, Traino at a range is not that horrible anymore. I mean, it's if your enemy is lighter and has the boost distance to dodge it, that's not great. But even bigger boys, I mean, big boys won't be able to dodge it at all, really. They don't have the boost distance. But even uh, quicker lads, they'll have to boost like multiple times to get uh, away from the... Uh, the second one because each one shoots two which is great god <laughs> that first one just goes absolutely nowhere yeah but uh another thing neat about the hammer though a good thing another upside um it, has, it gives a mini stun whenever it hits which is great but also it true combos into kicks from almost like any type of ac type which is epic True combo meaning that it is a uh, unstoppable combo. You kick into hammer, you're guaranteed to hit the hammer shot after kicking. Indeed. The red booster and the mind beta legs look sick. Yes, sir. They do look pretty epic, must say. That coral booster's heat. It'd be nice if we had more boosters with different colors. That'd be sick. Imagine green flames, dude. Purple flames. Ricky rat flames. That'd be cool. That's what you said. Makes sense. Makes sense. Hey, man. Sometimes Ricky rat. Alright, so let's see. Switch shoulders, javelin, beta. Hmm. What's well, the thing? For being a close range build, we have a shotgun and a melee, which means we're going to be close range. So, javelin, beta, despite being goated on the sauce in most scenarios, close range is really where it starts to just not have much of an effect. So, at this type of close range, you're better off with things like Huxley's or um, Balaam, 6 cell or 10 cell. Even split missiles and duo missiles, you might have better odds in. Although, hmm. Herm, herm, herm. Trainers are definitely heat. Hmm. I wonder how the trajectory of the javelin would go if you were to jump above the opponent before firing to get that extra distance. Would you give it enough time to make a good uh, turn back? 
guess there's really not much of a way to tell unless you're in an actual combat scenario where they're actively trying to dodge it. Indeed. Hmm. Herm, herm, herm. He thinks we thinks. Also, I think having the javelin, at least one javelin, would be kind of nice because if you would land that stagger. Actually, let's see. If you land that stagger, will be enough to stagger break, at least on the train race. It's a decent way to test, generally. So let's say the javelin goes out. Let's say it hits. First hit nearly staggers. Second hit will stagger, which is pretty sick. Also, you can have yourself a little niche type of combo with this type of uh, current setup in where, say you, um, hmm, honestly, yeah, Javelin, I'll sell boost Zim Kick, Dodge In, Hammer, Traino, although honestly, Traino, hmm, ooh, we could actually do something with that, but let's go full for it. Either go double Javelin to more or less secure a type of thing. Or we just get a more consistent missile that can hit at any range. Like the multi of six. So preferably we get a bit of stagger going with say the javelin or the multi. We assault boost. Get it assault boost zim off into a kick. Into a hammer. And then that's kind of the combo. You go zim again, obviously, but stuff like that. Hmm. Indeed. Not bad, indeed. Damn, jump like a grasshopper. Damn right. Reverse joint is very fun. Oh, I agree. It's my favorite leg type in the game. Pretty damn good, indeed. Just not as goated in other stuff, or at least not as good in the current builds that I have going right now. But yeah, no, they're super good. They're good in one of the builds I have, double melee, which is pretty good, pretty solid. But yeah, no. Uh, other cool thing about, if you did not know, a little pro tip, not really pro tip, this is a general knowledge indeed, once you get into the game. Uh, all kinetic weapons, so say our shotgun shoots normal bullets, that's kinetic damage. Uh, whenever you're assault boosting, all kinetic damage gets increased, and its impact is increased, which is most epic. So assault boosting in before you fire something like a shotgun, or while you're firing off your machine guns, is always a very dope. You take a little more damage. Shouldn't always do it, but still. Do it when possible, indeed. We'll get you a lot more damage. Yes, yeah, so honestly, something like this could not be or not be too bad to me. Thinks. You, of course, must use the charge attack. Kill him this way. Op. Absolutely, OP. So yeah, I could see a loadout like this working pretty wide, pretty well. Play the more evasive um, strat until you get some high stagger with both your uh, missile launches and then go in for the punish. Capitalize with Zim and Hammer and reverse joint kicks. Not too shabby. Green also that, or green plus that build Amrigetan is from a different game. So yeah, I try to copy him. I gotcha, gotcha. I get you, I get you. All right, now let's say three, I mean, we're almost at 350 with this itself. We're not at bad stats, but honestly, I want to go a little heavier. 330? Yes, 330 would be great. Um, Yeah. Hell yeah. Spilly at 17 with the reverse choice is great. Over 10k AP is most epic. Uh, yeah, we're going to be doing Dembelage Ocellus. Might as well. Yeah. Coral Gen, Heat, Lula, most epic. All right, yep. We got ourselves a loadout. We got ourselves a build. Hope it is epic. We've used it to great success with Quad Gatling. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if you used, uh, or, yeah, no, <laughs> a quad gatling is pretty easy to counter, my friend. But yeah, I don't know, I get you, I get you. I mean, if they're in your face, just fucking shredding you, then yeah, that's rough. But, neat thing about any time you see a gatling, 
just uh, go towards them to bait them into start to fire their weapon and then back off and then just strafe from one side to the other and chances are you'll outstrafe their bullets because their bullet velocity is not very high and then they'll overheat and then you can move in for the fucking absolute punish but yeah now I get you noise indeed alright we did f yeah alright let's give it a paint save her up All right, all right, all right. Not as fast, but honestly, not much of a hassle. But a lot stronger indeed. All right, let's build up another build. All right, what are we making? All right, metals build. Let's get it. Right arm Harris. Gotcha, gotcha. Left arm Javelin Alpha. Gotcha, gotcha. Where's the bazooka? There it is. What else we got? Both shoulders, mind beta. Mind beta. Javelin beta. Gotcha. About to say what? Javelin beta's getting a lot of love tonight. God damn. Alright, let's see. Mind alpha head. Oh, been there. Alba body. Leather arms. Leather arms and legs. Gotcha, gotcha. SPD booster. Walt FCS. Big Curl Gen. Pulse armor. Alright, here we are. <laughs> oh good brother the grasshopper play style indeed I would happen to agree let's save the data let's get to optimization right, pretty go to loadout I can imagine stay at more of a range you might as well say range in general We've got the Walt FCS anyway and SPD goated Break stagger using the Harris and the Javelin, and then punish with the Javelin Alpha Bazooka, because this has fucking mighty direct hit damage. In fact, you'll get more damage out of this on direct hit than uh, that of an Earshot, which is fucking epic sauce. Yep. Yeah. Stay above 160 meters, so we're in our medium range FCS. Fire out Javelins. Hell, one's probably enough. Indeed it is. There you go. Good to have two, though, for... Uh, a, just more stagger, more damage, and B, more security to make sure it actually lands. She you gets your money's worth. So honestly, a good uh, loadout, not much I would change there. Although, honestly, I want to see, though. How much do we get stagger with a Curtis if we even land one javelin on this boy? Honestly, even if we do, not really worth it. Most builds might have more stability anyway, so I will not completely uh, max size it on this boy. Def and mid range, oh for sure. One of your favorite weapons, the javelin. I agree, dude. Pre nerf javelin, oh my god, that thing was a menace. That thing's blast radius was insanity. <laughs> Man, it was so good, too good indeed. Definitely needed a nerf. All right, let's go VP forty D. Uh, we might as oh we can't run Bastion. Interesting, very interesting. All right, 3.30 as a kite like man's. Not the worst, for sure. Honestly, my lander leg's probably going to be it as well. Volt FCS. Yerp, as well. Coral Gen. Uh, can we run? Barely. Yeah, no. Can't really run uh, either of those, which is not great. Pulse armor. I'm gonna keep the Harris. Might as well keep the javelin. Better be a goddamn epic for its thing. Double javelin beta. Yep. Let's see what else we got. BP 44D. Yes, sir. Could we go lander? No, we can't. Interesting. All right. Can we get better arms in the 330 bracket? 
No, no, no. I bet you can. Femora. Nah, I'm gonna get a little too much out of it. Alright, not too much optimized here. Pretty solid build off the rip, I say. And yeah, just changing the arms and the head. Pretty much all you need. Hell yeah, dude. Looking good to me. I should might be able to. I always go back and forth on the uh, loss and stability versus the health increase from the uh, javel or from the barrel to um, BP. But I'll say, yeah, considering we're going to keep our distance anyway, yeah, having a little more health would be pretty neat. Uh, although, hmm, technically, more range, better stagger defense would be better. Keeps you moving. So I'll say, yeah, we'll go 44D. Free for to change anything you want. Just trying to do a mid range with a punish, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Wait for real? I thought I was making a dumb fun build. Nah, dude, this is good. This is fun. I put it you solid, man. Not too shabby. Although, mm hmm. I suppose I'm thinking of it too much within the combo of the using the Harris as stagger. Harris as a stagger is good, although at a medium range, it can be, um avoidable also if this is our proc eh. hmm. actually you know what so this is I, I suppose you could say this loadout is like the um gimmick more uh predictable but still pretty dope um play around of it but if you want a fully competitively optimized variant i would say go double Hair, our double Rensetsu. And then switch out, switch one of the Javelins for the Bazooka on your back. We're nearing the same speed. I wonder... I wonder... How much damage do we get off Stagger right now? With the, ja with the uh, Javelin. Say we brought proc stagger. I'm oh, gonna get a little more damage out of that. 3,000, uh, 3,600. Right. If we just switch this to, so 3,600 versus, pretty sure we're gonna get close to like 6,000. Redshift. Basho. Might have to kill him. He might die. I might not get a proper. Yeah. Might get more damage out of this. And we don't have to rely on any charge shot to stand still to land it as well, which is always neat. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, like 5,000 damage, pretty much 600. Or 6,000 anyway. Which is about double. So yeah, this is a more competitively optimized uh, variant that I would use. You still have your range type of standstill, fire, stagger punish, and you have rifles as your range stagger buildup, and you get to even keep a javelin, which is always heat. But I can see both working fine. It's just this one would probably have a technically more success, um, but definitely not as um, hard to pilot, me thinks. But still solid. Neat part about this too is we become actually we obtain greater speed of 360, which is actually heat. Yeah, this version is just kind of uh, statistically better in a lot of ways, but both could work still. Both could work indeed. And actually, at this rate, we might be able to run something like 
Okay, <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Reaching 370 speed naturally and can run VP20C. Uh, for reference, VP20C doesn't give you a whole lot of capacity. In fact, we're probably going to get like five dodges if we're lucky. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, about five. But its recharge and its forgiveness on how close your E and load is close to uh, snowfall or shortfall is fucking great. Uh, basically, the closer it is to shortfall, the less speed you have a recharge. But for some reason, this gen, despite its recharge stat not being great, I guess it's its supply. Uh, or it's post. Yeah, it's. Um, yeah, it's post recovery is pretty solid. But, yeah, no. This recharge is great. Super good for uh, kiting elusive build. Elusive builds such as this. Makes it very nice and very solid. And yeah, it's incredibly light, allowing us to reach 370, which is about the speed most other lighter kites use, which is great. Hey, coming from a lightweight build, I wanted uh, to get off the speed is a key. I see, I see, and try and try for a midweight build. I get you, I get you. I get you, I get you. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Yeah, if you want to go for a more like a more of a middleweight, get a little, get a little thicker. You can definitely uh, go for the mind alpha and stuff like that. Get a little more beefy, stuff like that. But you know, this type of uh, you will elude most builds like this for sure. You know, this is pretty solid. May not be a bazooka, but it functions the same. It gives you more damage. So I say it's pretty fucking good, man. Nah, honestly, like what you did. Gonna get off of work and try it. Hell yeah, brother. Definitely let me know how it goes. The slowdown's pretty solid, man. You build, build stagger with the missiles, proc it with the Harris, and then jab it. Solid. You'll just be able to do this without stopping much. And, yeah, no. You'll have that constant stagger no matter what without uh, having to, uh, again, like stop for the Harris shots and stuff like that. As well as you can just use the melee raw with uh, greater success than the bazooka. Yes, you dodge bazooka once, that's it. You dodge one moonlight, you might not dodge the second. And it has a bigger hitbox, which is always nice. And the fact that our, our punish, our second punish, is boosted by our arms, and our arms are goaded for giving us lightness and speed, uh, and they can handle the recoil of our guns, that's is just great. A lot of things to love. Lots of pros. Indeed. No, oh, didn't give the color to the weapons. There we are. Boom. Alright. Next up, next up, have we another build to take a look at? Have we any others? have no other builds we're gonna take a look at uh we're gonna reforge our boy a preset v6 how many have we done so far one two three four five fish six seven seven about nice not bad not a bad man indubitably Where is V6? Oh, there you are. There's our lad. No, that's right. Boom. So weird that they have such a lock on that. 
customization lock, so you don't get the uh, decals and paints. We can work around it, but you don't get the decals, unfortunately. But it's an odd thing to have in the game, though, nonetheless. Yeah, so I've got to rename all these guys. Name them their original names, name them the Reforge names. Definitely got to do that. Be nice to look at the catalog, indeed. God, we've done quite a few of the presets, haven't we? Got some big names, got all the red guns. Now we're going to move on to all the Vespers. It's going to be pretty dope. But yeah, have we any other Requiem builds or any player builds to upgrade right now? Or not yet. What to be the water taman? Tell you what, we'll start upgrading this, and then if we get any other swab, we're doing it. And we think All right, a bubble facade build with a shield. That's honestly a pretty goaded loadout. Bubbles are questionable, but bubbles aren't too shabby. They can melt, especially if they have high energy spec. Wait, and this... Ooh, even has the good pulse shield. Damn. Bro's chillin', chillin'. God damn. Yeah, and if a son is crazy. Alright, so let's see what we got naturally. The <laughs> recoil on the bubbles are fucking insane. Yeah, the thing is, there's like no, not really gonna get much stagger. The damage through the stagger is insane. 2,000 land at all? My god. Not a horrible loadout, honestly. Yeah, parry something and then trade it with a fucking charge of Sawn. And just fucking absolutely shred him. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So for shield, keep the shield. Fasan, probably keep the Fasan. I mean, holy goddamn. Although, honestly. So that's the thing. The Fasan is great. Better when you have two. Can absolutely shred people, but. Hmm. I don't think I'm allowed to build, right? No, you're perfectly fine. It's first come, first serve rules, matey. If you have a build for us to take a look at, we will definitely take a look right now. Yeah, it might change the Fasan to like laser cannon LCS for more consistency. Charge Fasan is great, but honestly, if you can land these more, you get a lot more out of it. This is a better single variant, I think. Although, honestly, it might go to Fuse Cannon if that's the case. Same amount of fire rate, but like double the damage pretty much. Pretty much the heavy variant. Our bubbles. Might as well just go with this superior bubble. What is the main difference between them? Better attack, better impact. Less heating. More direct hit. Better recoil. More effective range. Yeah, it's just cooling. And rapid fire. A little less. But I'll say it's probably better for its recoil. These knockrier arms? What the hell? Very strange. I mean, max fire spec is neat, but man's needs the recoil control. What is the recoil exactly? Only five. Interesting. Only five recoil, yet the recoil is insanity. Very strange, very strange. Are you gonna... Nice, you're gonna tape up a build. Very nice, very nice. Alrighty. Let's see here. Might as well go Basher then. Hell, we'll get... Actually, do we get better recoil? Worse recoil control, probably. Yeah. Might go thicker. Who knows? We'll see. Um, let's change up the legs to probably mind alpha booster lula uh maybe might as well i guess helps us get in there although honestly i was like nah spd might as well get that natural speed anyway po5 this rate we might as well go like walter ocellus EP20C, get that damn bleach going, yeah? Honestly, I'm down for it. Pulse armor. Although, <laughs> pulse armor against fucking bubbles is gonna be a bit of a 
definitely a bit of a thing. That's for sure. Might be better off with like assault armor. Then yeah, you'd probably get something out of it. If you were to fight this anyway. Uh, head. BP. So we go to the Lander Core. <laughs> uh, the Vespers would never. But hey, this ain't supposed to be lower accurate. This is all resources for the sake of optimization. Six of boosts and two Chevy. That recharge time though is horrific. Um, yeah, honestly, the loss in damage isn't that crazy if we switch to Coral. Although, our speed. Yeah, our speed's about the same anyway. In fact, we're a little bit faster. We're going to go Ephemera Arms, or, yeah, how would we look? Not great. This looks good so far, we'll come back to it though. Dual Sampu Pistols, gotcha, gotcha. We are rocking up. Right, so far looking good, a little bit slower, but much more durable. Alright, Devil Sampoos. What else we got? Right shoulder, vertical plasma. Very nice choice. Vertical plasmas used to be absolutely nutty, but now they're pretty good. Still solid. Solid for their purpose, indeed, just not as strong. Left shoulder. Uh, laser cluster. Or laser cutter, I don't know. Laser cutter. I mean laser slicer. What should that uh, mean exactly? Spinning blade, yeah, laser slicer. Gotcha, gotcha. Knock body. <laughs> Can't spell, I get you, get you. Lamb arms. Good old knock rider, good old notch. Alright. Lamb arms. There they are. What's the lineup now? Wouldn't you like to know? Damn. We're doing this build, and then we don't have any other lined up, so if you wish to throw your hat in the ring, you shall indeed see it. Alright, lamb arms, knock legs, hell yeah. What else we got? Alright, Lula, Santa, what we got? Song tie, <laughs> very nice. Osiris, very nice. 
And then I'm guessing expansion, just whatever. You want a cool wheelchair build of some sort? Well, lucky for you, I know a guy. His name is C Senpai Chaos Man. He do be loving wheelchairs. And he's pretty, pretty chilling in the wheelchairs, indubitably. But, you know, um, a good wheelchair build. I mean, I have um, a wheelchair build I could show you, I suppose. It's pretty neat. Got good old Made in Heaven, one of my last um, PvP build video builds. So, pretty nice. You think you made a mistake or not? What hath thou made a mistake in me wonders? Feel free to double check indeed. Or should we get the build right? Are the samples any decent? Um, they're pretty all right. Thing is that a recoil, despite being only like 15, which isn't that bad, um, probably because they're constant fire. So I guess it's 15, 15, 15, 15, kind of constant. So if you uh, think about recoil with guns too, if you shoot both of your guns, it's why it's wise to uh, run a Kimbo. Um, if you shoot them both at the same time, it will only count for the recoil of one on the arms, which is nice. So if you fire them, out of sync, then it doubles the recoil for you know, each weapon. Um, so, for some reason, these are incredibly uh, inaccurate, at least on arms like Basho and stuff like that, which is not the case for things like Vientos or you know, even stun guns if you wanted, um, or Kukulits, or, you know, you know what have you. Burst machine gun usages, all that cool stuff. So, honestly... They're decent, but they're kind of outmatched by things like still the Viento, as well as the Usagens. At least in my practice. Your build right now runs double Usagens? Yeah, they're pretty much like the best right now for their type of uh, BVO type close range high stagger play. You thought the gen, but never mind. Gotcha, gotcha. But you're confused about the other light weapons. That's the thing. With the nerf to the Vientos, it's definitely brought light to all the others, uh, which is nice. So they're pretty much all usable. Which one's technically the best? Technically, I think you'll get more out of the Isogens. However, if you're more of a super light knock rider build, similar to this, and you're looking to dodge around a lot and not stick around too long to get hit, then you're going to want to stick uh, with the Vientos as their fire rate is fucking goated. And uh, yeah, you just... It's pretty much the fastest burst you'll get, as well as the needles themselves are pretty nice as bullets. They tend to hit very quick, very nice velocity. So, very nice for burst, getting there, firing and moving around. Usagens are nice, but not as quick. And the Sampoos are kind of like in between. But they're very quick, but their recoil isn't the greatest. But running lamb uh, arms like this, you probably see pretty good results, considering you have more than double, hell triple, the uh, recoil you need to handle them. However, we have a melee, which means we're going to want to optimize our uh, loadout for such a thing. Alright, let's get our... Let's get our AC dot rocking. Alright, first things first, loadout. Uh, these weapons are pretty solid. Um, definitely going to change them for something like Viento or Isogen. Only for pure optimization purposes, of course. As well as we can pair them nicely with our Basho arms. Which we're also going to switch to so our not only our weapons do well, our weight and our health is much better, and it boosts our melee, which is epic sauce. Uh, so basically, it pairs with our weapons and our overall build synergy, which is great. Bastio arms are over to uh, over tuned in play. Definitely, or, yeah, I would say about needs a little bit of a nerf, probably a little bit of nerf and recoil, just so it can't have such a grand variety. Pretty much make the arms uh, only used for melee, as they are the melee arms as well as missile launchers and bazookas. Because right now they can run rifles, machine guns, as well as shotguns, bazookas, and missiles. It's just kind of crazy. They're kind of just nutty. 
You're aggressive with this build? Hell yeah, that's the way to do it. That is the way to do it, my brother. Sometimes you switch to estrogens, so it's cool. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Very nice foot. Good to hear. The Minecraft cartel will rise. Yo, ghost. Welcome down by the board. Welcome, my good sir. All right. So, the vertical plasma missile's purpose right now, it doesn't do a lot of damage. It does decent um, impact, but its main purpose is being a more or less guarantee. Uh, vert being it being plasma, A, vertical tracking is pretty solid, but why the other vertical missiles are pretty shit is because they have no blast radius or detonation, unlike the vertical plasma. Plasma has great detonation of proximity in AoE, which keeps the stagger on the opponent like at all times. They're not going to distance you and lose all the stagger unless they can just assault boost way faster than you. Um, if not, then yeah, you should be able to get the stagger on them and keep the stagger up with these missiles, which is great. Um, although it's more great for more uh, builds that can't catch up, which unlike a light... Uh, with, more like, with a light type of high stagger build like this, not entirely necessary. Um, more for a build that has more burst weapons, meaning you fire them and they go on reload for a while. Um, we have constant fire, so we don't really need to worry about keeping the stagger going constantly. Especially when we're this fast, we can move in kicks if all else fails. So we'll switch out to something else. But, you know, normal vertical missiles, uh, physical ones, do not have um, detonation proxy or great AoE, so they don't do anything when they land. Usually they just miss and land right behind you and nothing happens, because damn. But yeah. What'd you miss? Uh, not too much, not too much. Optimize some builds. You made it to chapter 4? Oh, fuck yeah, brother. Well, nice. Very nice. You do a metal dragon build. True, true. Recently swapped to it, not sure what to use on the right shoulder. I see. So for a build like this, you want missiles that are good at close range, or really any range. Um, so, and the best missiles for this type of build, high stagger, close range, are the multi-06, because they're light, have a decent amount of damage, and they're incredibly good for barrel stuffing. Like, their accuracy in close range is um, very, very good. These are pretty solid for the case, or for this type of job. I've seen the duo split missiles do pretty well. Or the dual missiles, which are a mixture of split and vertical, which are pretty solid. At too close of a range, they'll overshoot way too often. But at a medium range, they're very hard to dodge, making them very nice to guarantee some quick stagger, indeed. And since you're so close range, most builds will want to uh, not be as close to you as you want to be to them, unless they themselves are also close range. So that can kind of work or backfire on you. Other than that, you could run uh, um, normal uh, plasma missile launchers. Uh, although, honestly, they used to be pretty good, and their tracking was great, and they would just detonate on anyone at any range. Nowadays, they're kind of so slow, you get out of the way, and they just kind of don't come back around. They kind of just go at you, you move, their turn radius just isn't that great. Their guidance itself is pretty shite. Um, or you could run Bullet Huxley, which will, again, also stay on the opponent, bring it up high lot of stagger. It's pretty much having, like, a third machine gun. But, uh, yeah. You pretty much run that if you're just not seeing yourself building up the stagger as quickly as you'd like. But if not... You can just run the occasional missile that can get you some nice staggered almost any range, which is always very nice. Well, if you find your enemies run away from you a lot and then the missile becomes kind of useless until you close the distance, then running something like split missiles or the duo missiles can also be very nice. So you got a decent amount of uh, range. It's probably one of the most customizable parts. If you want to go down a more advanced route, I recommend what I uh, used to run. Uh, I'm not sure if I still run it, but actually, well, yeah, I did when I used, actually, no, yeah, I went in between a lot to test, because uh, I had a build similar to this. I made my own version of the BVO, became like a double melee explosive thrower type deal, actually really good, defeated every um, BVO I ever came across, but to say that they were all very good players, I have no idea, it was random match made ranked, so I don't know, but yeah, no, um, a more advanced way to run it is to run either like the box missile on your back, or the siege missile on the back. Siege missiles. Siege missile is extremely good. Um, a, you're not compromising too much weight, and B, its damage and accuracy is nuts, which is always a nice way to guarantee some good stagger. The fact that you can move around while uh, shooting it, like you can shoot it, start assault boosting, shoot it, start dodging around your enemy, uh, pretty much setting up the missiles so when they go off, they uh, absolutely shred the target. That's always great. 
although the reload can get a bit um, not great. But then again, you're always close range with the constant stagger anyway, so it's not like you need it constantly. But if you do want a little bit faster, box missile is also pretty solid. So I say for the sake of pure optimization and easy access, we'll go with the 6 cell for now, and then we'll see if we switch it up. And of course, the laser slicer is indeed an option. Uh, most melee, other than the stun baton, will work for this type of thing. Um, thing is, it does have like one of the most, uh, one of the longest windups. So if you stun your enemy just a little too far away, and you go for the uh, melee, you might just barely get them, barely nick them with it, and then they'll just pop out of it. Um, but if you are close enough for the stagger, this thing can do upwards of like six to seven thousand damage, which is great. Uh, but if you want more consistent, and I'll see. Oh, well, my controller died, so I'll be right back. Hold up. I have the returning controller had gotten murdered. Indeed. But yeah, no. Uh, more consistent, and what I prefer, in my own taste, anyways, is the pulse blade, as it covers great distance. Um, it's very, very quick, comes out fast, and uh, yeah, achieves similar to the same damage. Maybe like a thousand less damage, maybe. But yeah, no. But it's just decent. It's good. Well, it's not decent. It's great. Any real melee is your uh, good choice. It's definitely also one of the most customizable parts about this type of build. Uh, the back weapons are indeed very epic, very customizable. Indeed, lots of things can work, which is great. When do I get the slicer again? Um, after you defeat Rusty somewhere, I think. Somewhere in the arena or otherwise. Anyways, is this the live where do you reforge? I do indeed. We do be reforging, upgrading, and all that cool stuff. We'll be doing the reforge of V6 soon. And uh, yeah, we're upgrading player builds right now. So if you have yourself a player build or your own build you want to upgrade it, uh, feel free to share it in uh, a little bit here. We have this build to take a look at. Then we have someone else in the queue. And then we'll take a look at yours. Indeed. On New Game Plus, I believe you get it. Uh, yeah, probably. I, yeah, no, I just don't even remember where we get it, honestly. It's been so long. It's been a long time. All right, so let's optimize these parts. VP44D, uh, core. Definitely go for something like Alba. Although, honestly, a knock rider legs might be a little tough, but we'll see. Lula for sure, Ocellus for sure. Oh, that's why, Santai. Uh, VP20C, yep, definitely run VP20C. Fuck yeah. Pulse armor. Keep the legs as they are definitely a choice. Although if you want a little more uh, durability with the, pretty much the same result and maneuverability. Although the jump height and dodge distance of Nakara is most epic. But you're being this light anyway with Alula. You're still going to get great speed. I do recommend the Alba but that's more of a your choice type of thing. And I understand how the Nakara can be very fun to play around with. And they're very much a choice of uh, leg type indeed. And when upgrading any type of build, I don't like to change the leg type, as that's more or less the soul of the AC. So, yeah. Although, I would like to know what you think, though, for your build. Are the knock a must-keep, or are you more uh, fancy to pure optimization? Oh, nice. With that, nice, nice, nice. The Alba legs in that build look beautiful. Are indeed goaded. Oh, but of course. Oh, but of course, indeed.
I'm curious on a pier. Uh, oh, but of course. That's basically your exact setup. That's pretty dope. Sounds to me you got uh, yourself a pretty good optimized AC. How the legs look at goaded anyway? Oh, for sure. They're pretty damn sick, man. <laughs> yeah, for free to put your AC on in. So yeah, no, at this rate, now you can either keep your knock legs for your type of uh, preferred playstyle style movement, or you can go with pure optimization, meaning you get all the stats out of it. Hell, it might even be able to go, like, could we go with this? Could we go my Alpha? Nah, just barely not. That's fine. But, you know, with this, you get more speed, or you get a lot more durability, a lot more, which is great. As well as you see similar results in maneuverability, as long as you play it right. Um, yeah, you should see no difference. You'll be as untouchable, which is very heat. 370, very nice. Very heat, very heat. How much damage do we get out of the uh, charge attack? I wonder. Quite a bit. Bad I hate. Mm, put the code in there. C S C S C. Are you an Xbox or an I? If you're not an Xbox, I would not be able to download it, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, the speed of build. So you can either run Alba for uh, better stats, similar performance. Although if you are attached to the uh, playstyle of knock legs, then you can also run these as well. Yeah, the only gripe I have with, or uh, my own playstyle fancy with knock legs, sure the distance you get is pretty damn solid. I mean, it's not too far off of what you get with Alba. But thing is, whenever you're dodging around, you jump around, jump off the enemy, your recharge starts when you're midair, which means if you land, it goes up nearly instantly, which is great. Um, thing is, you are missing out time when uh, you're airborne that you'll get your energy back, which means you have to wait until you land to get your energy, which is kind of unfortunate. Instead of sitting down, dodge, 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 shoot, 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 energy up, dodge, dodge, shoot, shoot, and wait, energy up, hug yourself, instead you're dodging, shooting, dodging, and it goes down. So it's almost like having that height can sometimes be a disadvantage. But yeah. You're on PC, you're on Steam, I gotcha. I won't be able to download your code, unfortunately, mate. I do be um, on the Xbox in Dubitable. So yeah, if you want to share to your part list, you can just list all the parts from top to bottom. That would be heat. Uh, yeah, which you can either put here in the chat or the most recent Requiem video in Dubitable. Or, of course, you can join the Xbox Fight Club Discord as well and put your build information in the Requiem Workshop, where I will definitely get to it anytime, indeed. All right, let me get him out. Gotcha. All right. Well, this is the build. Indeed. Faster and, or technically not as fast, but same speed bracket, so basically as fast, even more durability. Very nice. And more accurate weaponry. Using the body for booster efficiency. I get you, I get you. I get you. Although with a build like this and a gen that we have now is not too necessary. The Santa is nice, but. Not overly necessary. Plus, that recharge we get out of this is, and the generosity is so great. And the weight, allowing us better speed. Absolutely epic. Alright, let's give it a paint. Oh, 
me to... Oh, all right. Next up, next up. Did uh, Tristan have a build? What's the best playstyle for a wheelchair, by the way? Uh, anything kite-related type of evasive. Close range, might as well not even bother. Uh, but weapons such as, you know, rifles. You can even, honestly, I would say the best type of... Hmm, most effective wheelchair would be something like... Like, if you want to take full advantage of being able to just move super fast on the ground, not really need to utilize boost a whole lot, I would run something like... Double LRA. A bunch of energy-based weaponry, really. So that you can run the max uh, energy spec gen, the VP-20B. Having max energy firearm spec, boosting your energies, uh, the damage of your energy weapons. You run that on a wheelchair. So you don't have to worry about getting close to EN shortfall, which is great. Which will pretty much allow you to more or less... Actually, let's run, uh, let's run 40. Run like fucking, doesn't really matter what we run. Just running a basic, uh, big boy loadout. <laughs> this guy looks fucking goofy. What else could we run? What else could we fit on something like this? <laughs> yeah, you probably have to go down on the gen just to run out something else, but if you run some VE20C. You hope that is correct, ACC. We'll take a look here in a second. But yeah, no, with the wheelchair, taking advantage of the fact that you move at increased speeds when in your wheelchair move beyond... You move pretty much faster, about like 0.50% uh, increase from your actual boost speed represents. So say it's 320, but instead we're moving at like free, uh, 320 or something like that. Yeah, 340, I mean, well, yeah, 342, very heat. So yeah, using energy weapons, considering you're going to be moving pretty quick uh, and you're going to be pretty evasive that way. You know, dodge distance is never going to be really that high anyway, so you don't really need to rely on that type of distance. And, uh, yeah. It doesn't really matter how uh, slow your energy recharges, because you're always on the move anyway, at your max speed. You're not really relying on dodging anyway. Uh, so, yeah, you just use energy weapons. Try to be more evasive, medium range, and you should be chilling. Getting the high ground real quick, the jump isn't too awful, but obviously you don't move very fast, and you don't fall very fast unless you want to just go in a straight line, stop moving completely, and... Zoop. Down to the ground. Then start moving. But yeah. Uh, medium range laser weaponry, a kiting with missiles, all of this stuff. A lot can work on a wheelchair. But the best setup, I'd say, is definitely revolve it around energy weaponry. And other weapons that would normally stop you in place to use, like bazookas and charge shots of other weapons. But yeah. But this itself is an example of a build itself. It's just not, <laughs> not entirely optimized perfectly, but not bad either. I will see here. I just wanted a goaded wheelchair, but I've not made a build for them, I see. see. Alright, I'm heading out. Definitely got a new sub, but hell yeah, brother. My work is picking up. Hope you're still on, but have fun. Hell yeah, brother. Have a good one. Thank you for stopping by, Metal. <laughs> I see, I see. But, you know, I mean, I have a build that I made a while ago for uh, PvP, but more of an adaption for a uh, character. But, yeah, no, this build itself is pretty solid. Charged, supercharged Karasawa into double facades, goaded. Box missile for constant impression at any range. Pretty solid, pretty solid. You do a lot with a type of format like this, indeed. Energy based weapons, indeed. Plus, what gem we got? 20C? Coral. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Pretty heat. How do you do, T Crow? How right, else build your build real quick? Alright, Zimmerman, uh, G2. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, 
what we got for this? Balem G2. Balem G2. Yeah, see the multi of four. Earshot. Your shots, gotcha, plural. Veril. Mind Alpha. Basho, Wrecker. Gridwalker. <laughs> I see, I see. SLT. SLT. Max. Interesting. VP20D. And no expansion messages are noted, but I get you, I get you. Don't really matter. Expansion can be literally whatever. Named it Trench Raider. Increase. Yeah, in case you need the name. Gotcha. Or the reminder. Gotcha. Gotcha. I think it's important. Yeah, no, you're good, mate. Neat name indeed. You've been watching my series thus far, haven't you, Green? I've been uh, tuning in indeed for a little bit indeed. Can't really tell what you're saying. You're glitching in and out. I see. Well, there's a storm above. That could be the reasoning, mate. Or I'm just speaking quietly. So I'm just reading off and reassembling, indeed. Seems an explosive dance style, or kite, or even a rat. Perhaps, perhaps. Oh, we have shotguns, so close range it is. Yes, let's uh, data it up, and then reforge it. Requiem it. Requiem. All right. So, this type of build. So, first things first. Uh, now a couple things noticed. Need some optimization in the inner parts uh, department. For FCS, we have the P10 SLT, Max Missile Lock Connection FCS. The only weapon we have that benefits from that is our handheld. Thing is, the handheld's lock-on is already incredibly fast, so not entirely necessary. As well as we have Basho Arms, which have, like, no firearm spec. And our close range is awful, which means our Zim isn't going to land, like, uh, often. Or it's going to be very avoidable, which is not great for us. Uh, so, because we're already close range, Ocellus will be our good old boy. We don't really need the uh, Max... Uh, we don't need the missile lock connection indeed um we have a lot of en load so we can also probably go with a better gen for recharge like vp 20 c which we can nice it's even lighter more speed always great a pulse armor regardless as that's most epic in most scenarios grid walker is pretty neat for like upwards thrust stuff like that definitely get above your opponent and fire down the ear shots i understand that for being the motive however uh our sub boost speed isn't horrible and the is not the worst either, but it's pretty close to just being even, which is not great. With our natural speed of being th uh, 293, you're going to get ranged a lot by uh, builds in this thing. We only have one build, we only have one weapon for range to outrange them, which is just not going to work. Um, so honestly, we are better off going with something like the Lula. Plus, we're probably going to lighten up in some other areas as well. Um, now we can actually catch up to people, which is great whether they want to run away or not as well as we can make nice use of our zimmerman with assault boost zims so i definitely uh, make our one zim do more than it's not doing right now uh plus the upwards thrust on this isn't the best but honestly not that necessary honestly with a bit like this being so heavy might switch the legs to something like uh spring chicken or mind uh beta but yeah just so far what are we thinking The volume of the videos seem okay to you? Uh, yeah, they sound pretty good to me. When I was checking them out. What 
What I do is stagger with the ear shots and use the uh, missile and zim to go in. Oof. I'll tell you what, staggering people at uh, more or less a range with the uh, ear shots. Unless, uh, of course, you jump above them to get the uh, splash damage. That's pretty nice. But, I mean, the zim itself isn't going to do a whole, whole lot as a more of a direct hit punish and the uh, missiles. But I get what you mean. Stagger them in with the uh, bombs, bombas, the grenade cannons, and then move in and start to beat ass. I get you, I get you. Hmm. I get you, I get you. Hmm. Herm, herm, herm. I would say. What else we need? Let's try the place down, see what's lacking. Bombs. Yeah, sometimes the trainer has a mind of his own. Alright, I was... <laughs> Yo, Lord Sun, what's good? Welcome to Humble Aboard. Welcome back. Those Elden Ring shenanigans were pretty fun, man. Definitely let me know if you ever want to PvP at the shack or merch your bosses anytime. I'm always down. Hell, my favorite part about any end game in Souls, once you've done everything, is just do group posts and do it all again for people or with people. Good times indeed. But all right, let's see. So for this type of play, so it's meant to be super aggressive anyway. So honestly, I say we lose the multi um, and just switch up for another Zim, which is going to be great. Um, the earshots themselves could stay although i find in today's meta if you want to go pure optimization which you don't have to you can stick with your uh, bombs but i find in today's more or less meta um or at least in terms of pure optimization what's really good right now is what i mean uh the facade laser or the facade plasma cannons are full cannon goaded uh similar reload to the earshot themselves very similar in fact they reload faster but they take a little bit of time to charge up so effectively the same reload um, more damage if the whole AoE lands, and if you stagger them and fire these as direct hit, you very well could just one-tap them. As well as if you fire the charge shots at the enemy before they're, like, while they're popping their pulse armor, the plasma will actually get inside the armor and, uh, keep shredding them from the inside, which is rough. As well as their projectile speed is way faster than the ear shot, meaning you can actually snipe even bit. You can snipe most opponents, really only big opponents, as uh, most uh, light ones will be able to dodge out, but big boys like tetras and tanks will not be able to dodge the uh, snipe of this they'll just have to tank it thing is it only does more damage in the ear shot if the whole aoe lands or at least most of it if the first initial hit hits and they kind of move out of it because they're not staggered then you're not going to get as much value as you would if you were to direct hit a st uh, ear shot but thing is ear shot only will work if they're near a wall or the ground otherwise they're probably not going to see all that damage and you're going to be reloading in their face for a while but yeah so it's definitely an option. Um, hmm. Do either that, or we switch out the f ear shots for like Devil Majestics, and then you'll have a pretty neat swap, high stagger, high aggression build that you'll get a lot out of. Indeed, you just won't get the splash damage type play around it. It was also I had to cancel my subscription so I don't get a sixteen dollar charge. I get you. I was smart in the system, brother. But thanks for the fun, it was great. Hell yeah, man. It's a dance style build. Hmm. Is the earshot a punish? Technically not. So honestly, it's more of a dance style, with the earshot now being a punish necessary. Uh, the description um, our brother just gave was to use it, I believe, as to just like fire it out and then go in. Yeah, what it does is stagger with the ear shots and then use the other stuff. So honestly, uh, this is actually pretty similar to a build I upgraded a long time ago. I'm pretty sure it's in the intro of the, at the uh, letter half, or at the end half of the intro where I'm fighting Shattered, where he's in the Tetra, which is double Zim, double uh, Majestics. Which would be honestly great. Because A, we're going to get similar results. B, they're lighter, which is also great. 
Uh, only thing is different is going to be a swap build. So you kind of have this type of, I guess, kill and reset him. This type of playstyle. Much more of a dance playstyle, which honestly is my favorite. Get yourself a stand. Get that initial assault boost zim. Bombs. Bombs. You just have that type of play. Not that he'd die. Boop. There we go. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Either due to personal preference, you take the uh, plasma cannon or keep the earshot due to uh, finding them both, or firing them both, unlike the Majestics. Yeah. I agree with you there. Firing both at the exact same time is most mighty indeed. It can lead to a lot of dumbledge. But the thing is, you fire them both at the same time, and if they dodge it pretty much, they dodge the equivalent of one, they dodge both, because you're firing them both at the same time. That's the one thing that's always kind of tricky with it. But if you hit once, you hit both, which is also sick. That is the risk-reward type deal. It's kind of like the thing of running like the same missile launchers and stuff like that. It's like, oh, if they dodge one of the, of the missiles, they dodge a whole flurry. But if there's a bunch of different type of missiles, like, oh my god, now you have to worry about dodging so much. Yeah, but with this, I mean, yeah. This, I would say, is a better um, close-range dancing type playstyle, if that's the playstyle you want to be in. But if you do want to just kind of get over there, stagger them, or get in there and line up a very hard, decisive strike, then yeah, probably run something like Earshots or uh, Fasan. But it's up to you, mate. You may decide. This is your build, your playstyle. We're here to build around that. Hell yeah, mate. Hell yeah. So what's it gonna be? Dance or setup? And I assume you'll keep the exterior the same? Well, maybe. So that's the thing. The exterior, the parts, are reflected by the loadout, and the inner parts are reflected by both. So first thing we need to figure out is the loadout, and therefore playstyle. And then we'll probably tweak some of the exterior, depending. Although I will not change the legs, unless, of course, you want. Um, as the legs are more or less the soul of the AC. They very, mo very much blend with the playstyle. Unless the legs very much contradict the loadout and playstyle, then the legs might get changed. But, you know, preferably I stay away from that. But already, the, I mean, the Veril Head, Mind, Alpha, and Basho are already looking pretty good for this type of play anyway. The only thing I'd probably change at this rate is the Wrecker to something like uh, Hal or Mind Alpha. Just for more speed and decent defense. Any ideas for a fourth playthrough theme? Mm, first, uh... West Dragon slash Animal Incantations. Second was Close Range Spell, Magic, Swords, etc. And third was Black Flame Madness. Hmm. Yes. Um. The build I was uh, using in our fight club for a little bit there, my Doctor Strange one, which is just 50 in, uh, in, uh, 50 in Faith, 50 Intelligence, 50 Arcane. So you can pretty much use all sorcery. Well, it is pretty damn fun build. Uh, I'd imagine it'd be pretty interesting going through the game itself with that type of build. Uh, that could be fun. Pure caster build, indubitably. That could be neat. But, hmm. Dragon, Magic Knight, and Black Flame, you say, huh? You could do a Lightning God. That's always pretty fun. Use lightning incantations purely. Alright, so I guess we'll flow with this uh, set right now. So Bachelor Arms, gonna keep those. 330 would preferably be the speed threshold we rock with this. So we'll see what we get when we change around the inner parts. Ocellus, gonna keep that for sure. VP20C is probably our better bet for natural regeneration, but if you don't care about natural regen and more aggression, 
uh, coral for sure. Although our speed's not looking super hot. So we're gonna have to change the chords like Melander. Yeah, 330 will be fun. Over 10K AP, 1800 stability, that is huge. And great EN, oh my God. This is a solid build. They said do well, man. I need to think about the Majestics himself because of their proxy debt, decent reload, is you'll be able to use them pretty fine outside of Stagger as well. So if you're up against the bigger boys like tanks and stuff like that, you can honestly just fucking rat him out a bit with uh, bazookas at a range where they won't really be able to dodge him. And then just use the Zims whenever they close the distance a little too much. Distance him out, bazooka him up, all that cool stuff. Yeah, nice. Looking like a good lit up, man. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Lots of cool themes, indeed. And what would you do with and speedy boys? Alright, so I'm not sure speed right now is 330, which is honestly very solid. If they're a close range speedy boy, you're probably fine. A, you have more tankiness, and B, you have similar boost speed and evasiveness. So, you're going to be able to out-tank them themselves. Although, preferably, stay away from using the Majestics as openers, unless they're very inexperienced. Otherwise, they're just not going to land, and they're going to be able to prey on your downfall while you stand still to use them. So, definitely play around with more Zims and Kicks. Um, however, if they are, like, evasive speedy boys, like kites and stuff like that, uh, right now our boost speed is 480. So, honestly, you don't really need to worry about purging any weapons for any more necessary speed. But a nice little tip for catching up to people. Uh, a lot of people, when they self boost at an enemy, uh, think to either kick them or uh, boost out of the assault boost to get out of it quickly. But that burns a lot of energy, and the kick is a lot of a wasted time if they can just dodge the kick and see it coming, and they'll suddenly go around you. So what I always do is I get close and press A. I press the uh, jump key, which would probably be space on PC. Uh, whatever action is the jump, it ends you, it takes you, oh, it's cool. It takes you out of Assault Boost, and it keeps some decent momentum, and you can do it any range you want, which uh, pretty much allows you to control when you get out, and preferably you want to do it when you're at a more of a close range, but not, like, up in their face range, so they don't just dodge around you, and then, you know, now they're evading you, going some other way, falling down, going up, Assault Boosting away, stuff like that. So you can pretty much end it at your own range, get decently close, and fire upon them. And if they just seem to just be way too fast, despite, you know, your assault boost being up above 400 is more than enough to catch up with most kites. Uh, you could, of course, just always uh, purge your bazookas, as they're probably not going to be very useful against a kite unless you're using direct hit. Uh, then you should be chilling. Now you're reaching 500, pretty much 490. That's fucking great. And our natural speed is, let's see, all the way up to three, almost 360. That's insane. That's great. Yeah, building uh, building builds with the intention of the purge to be fast enough to catch up to uh, lighter boys is a fucking great value to keep in mind for sure. So yeah, you're fighting a very tanky, tanky boy that you're not really going to win close range like an LRB tank. Honestly, you just ditch your fucking shotguns and go pure bazookas. Bazooka mat range, so he's dead. Or you win via time through damage lead. Uh... If you're fighting more close to range aggressive boy, you can keep all your loadouts and just kind of run it like normal because that is your desired range as well. And you're probably tankier than they are if they're trying to be light enough to uh, fight in that range. And uh, yeah, fighting a kite, just fucking keep your zims. Ditch your shotgun, your fucking uh, bazookas if you must anyway. You probably won't have to. And yeah, so boost, press it to get out, fuck them up. That's what I say anyway. I use a PS5 controller on Steam, so all right, let's, yeah, let's press uh, what X, your jump button, which is X. Isn't it? Yeah, it's X. there we go. Send a check. All right, let's give her the good old requiem paint. This boy is optimized. All right, all right. A little less durable, but way faster. Yeah, weaponry looking goated. Looks good to me. You can just have a similar type of loadout, but with uh, your earshots or your facades, if you wish. Might have to tweak a little bit. Probably go Coral Generator, if you're going to go facade anyway. But, uh, yeah. I hope the build serves you well, man. 
Thank you for the reforging. Hell yeah, brother. Anytime. Keep one for punish. Hell yeah. Yeah, you totally could. Yeah, but I'd be shocked if you weren't fast enough with assault boost even at 340. Uh, assault boost. I'd be surprised if you couldn't catch up to him. Maybe if they assault boost uh, away from you every single time, then probably you'd become a, a bit of an issue. But yeah. Can you use remembrances three times and you can use uh, two times? So yeah, you can, what's it called? Um, as you probably know, duplicate your remembrance, but I think you can only duplicate one remembrance once. You can only get two of them out of any playthrough. And oddly enough, you can't get the same weapon out of the remembrances in one playthrough. So if you say like defeat Melania and you want to get two uh, swords, you're not gonna be able to get that in the same playthrough. You can duplicate it to get both the Scarlet Aeonia and the Blade, but you won't be able to get two Blades or two Aeonias. I don't know why you would ever want two Aeonias having multiple incantations as useless, but uh, yeah, no. It's strange. It's unfortunate like that, but I guess it's more motivation to go new game, the better, I guess. Um, although, I think this should just make it so larval tiers don't spend, or uh, you can just change your build infinitely. It's kind of dumb to put a limit on that, but it is what it is. I guess it's not really much of a hassle for us on Xbox or on PC because you can just, you know, do the method of infinite by unplugging your stuff fast enough i think it works on playstation although i haven't tested a whole lot but i can't imagine why it wouldn't although playstation does seem to have interesting uh like um boot up times and iffiness when unplugging and losing memory so probably not as consistent over there what is the heaviest build you can make uh that still be good a full bow goat Bull goat boys. Full bull goat with like double straight swords. Oh, in armored core? I see. <laughs> After you're talking about Elden Ring. What's the biggest uh, boy? Oh, fucking right here. I'll tell you. I'll show you real quick. Like, this is the heaviest lad that you can make that's pretty solid. That will win like. I wouldn't say 80% encounters. Probably like 70, 75% encounters. Uh, let's see. Where is he at? There he is. Might be able to run these. Maybe not, though. I might get overburdened. We'll see, though. It's called an LRB tank, which you probably know of. Now, the, it's called a LCB tank or laser tank right now because they use the LCB. Although, honestly... In today's, uh, after the nerf to it and it's fire rate and stuff like that, it's cooling. It's just way better to run LCS, I think. Um, so that's what I would run for sure. You probably have better overall success with it as well. You could run that. You could run LRB for pure damblage. And then something like this. This will absolutely shred most builds. Unless they're a rangy boy. Pretty much the only build that can beat this consistently based off just pure stats and you know getting out build built is a kite type of build a range rat or kite because you fight this thing at close range chances are you just losing it's just sh absolutely shredding you there's not a whole lot you can do the other thing you do is kick to interrupt it but then again you're probably going to kick it and then you're being in place and just absolutely eat everything how much how fast can you get when you shuffle with this about 490, almost 300. Yeah, about 400. Not bad. Yeah, if someone knows how to shuffle pretty well at you, then you're not evading this by much, unless you yourself are a kite. You know, it is possible to beat these type of builds. I beat them a couple times with my um, uh, my version of a larpster. Funny enough, but I guess this is kind of this is literally larpster on tank legs, which also means you can just run this exact loadout on snail legs, larpster legs. Where are you? There you are. Run it with the Burzal Booster so you can catch up to people. More than not, anyway. Overburdened, huh? There you go. You run something like this. Just use the Burzal Booster's Assault Boost to catch up. 370 speed, which is... <laughs> yeah, it's decent, but not great. Yeah. The only downside is now you stop to shoot your uh, cannons, but it's not that bad. Some would take it over uh, not moving at great speeds and... Anyway, but you know, big juicy larpster. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. I 
agro land boat. Oh, yeah, one. That a thick boy. Juice should take a bye. You know what? You know what? You know what? All right. Now let's get ourselves back to uh, optimizing our boa. Where is he at? Right down here. We got to optimize ourselves. Good old uh, V6. This is where we are so far. Upgraded the plasma guns to just the better variants. Switched out the facade. Now, facades are great, but just one facade in a type of build like this, not the best. So I switched out to the uh, a better single uh, type of laser cannon, energy cannon. The diffuse canon, which is pretty damn solid right now. Pretty much the actual heavy variant for the LCS, despite the two other heavy variants that are just not necessary. The triple was not, uh, triple was good for being a double of the LCS, its heavy variant. But then for some reason they decided to L add the LCB, which is definitely sick. And the it looks dope and, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. But man, oh man, was it over fucking done when it first came out. Way too good. But, uh... Now we also have this diffuse cannon, which also got buffed in his shotgun spread being a lot tighter, which is a good eight. Pretty much does near double the damage of the LCS, and uh, yeah, it's similar to weight and energy, although a little heavier, definitely. Uh, so we'll run with that shield. Really wouldn't switch the shield up for almost anything else. Um, optimize the parts quite a bit. Optimize the inner parts for the type of build, of being more or less medium range boy. Yeah, looking good. Thinking of making a plasma cannon um, land boat build. I see, I see. Definitely possible, man. Definitely. Note it's more considered a girl. Ah, I see, I see. Hmm, Green, what is your lightest build you ever made? Uh, well. B O V. <laughs> okay. I see, I see. When you finish her upgrade. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll definitely show you. Uh, I believe the lightest build ever made. You mean in Reforge or like PvP? Or rather, my own builds. Yeah, so far, I mean, yeah. What else could we optimize? I'd like to say in th stay in 330, as I figured that's a fine speed for this AC. Uh, bash your arms, as we don't really need any other. Mm. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think this is fine. We'll definitely see if it's uh, better than the original when we go and fight it with the Shattered, indeed. But so far, I think it's pretty solid. I mean, we're a lot more durable in both stability and health. The weapons themselves are more solid and more usable. And it has an expansion, which is also dope. Yo, Cleric, welcome to Humble Aboard. It do be going quite well. <laughs> Trading firearm spec for more armor. So that's the thing about the Basho arms. A lot of people say like, oh, why do you have Basho with no melee? Um, so their current, their weight and EN load in the game right now is very, very generous. Meaning if you run these on your build, chances are you're going to get like a plus 20 in your boost speed, which is fucking great. Which allows you to go more durable in other places like your core and your legs, head, weapons, all that cool stuff. And their recoil control being second worst in the game, <laughs> which sounds pretty bad, only being that of 66, isn't actually so bad. Yeah, the amount of health and durability they give based through their health to weight ratio is what's really so great about them. But also the recoil control allows them to use a grand variety of really good weapons such as um, bubble guns. No, nah, but in this case scenario, yeah, sure, bubble guns. But uh, you can run missile launchers. Obviously, almost every arm can run it without recoil, obviously. Um, melee obviously gets boosted by it, which is just another plus. Um, you can run weapons like the Rensetsu RF, which is by far one of the best, definitely the best kinetic, uh, kiting ranged weapons, I would say, for high stagger and decent damage. At least that's what I would say. Um, 
which only has recoil of 12, which means you can run even two of these with seeing minimal to no recoil, which is great. Uh, as well as you can run the Isogen, which is pretty much the best new close range burst machine gun, or new close range high stagger machine gun, pretty much replacing the uh, Viento as the Viento could get nerfed. Still, you could run the Viento, Sampu, stun guns. Of course, you can run any bazooka as recoil doesn't matter too much with these, as long as you're not firing other weapons before you fire them. If you fire weapons that cause your recoil to go up and then fire the bazooka, the bazooka is going to be fucking not accurate at all. Very not good. But yeah, no. Honestly, in my opinion, the Basho arms are very over tweaked and uh, definitely need a nerf in to make them nerf the recoil control, honestly, to make it so they're only viable to use shotguns, bazookas, missiles, and melee. And then they will literally be the melee arms. The fact that you can run linear rifles, machine guns, stuff like that with them just doesn't feel right. And honestly, they're just way too good. You can put them on so many builds to make them just infinitely better. But, you know, that's my general consensus on them. Hopped in, so I build a uh, little and reason for Walt FCS over Ocellus. Aye. So, with this current build, right now we're reforging uh, one of the presets. We're reforging uh, V6 over here. Um, and why do we have the Walt? Actually, I think he had the Walt on by default too. Or did he have. What did he have on before? Or she, as the Walt is. Uh, as the build is often referred to as she. At the PO5, max medium range. So I guess the, uh, the Walt's just a natural progression of the PO5. Considering they're so damn close in uh, specs right now anyway. I don't even know why they decided to buff the Walt. A little unnecessary, me thinks. It was already super solid for like an, uh, the best all-rounder. Kind of just the better Talbot. But uh, now it's almost the best FCS for ranged uh, builds in general. But that's the thing. Um, with this type of build... A shield, a laser cannon, especially when the diffuse got... As the diffuse cannon has been buffed in its uh, shotgun spread being a lot tighter, making it a lot more viable at medium to close range. Obviously, the closer the better. Barrel stuffing is always goaded. Um, and a shield. This type of build can very much play like a type of, of a more elusive close range build. So you can go close to medium range. And with the Walt, we can definitely achieve that. Uh, as well as the bubbles themselves, their tracking is pretty damn solid. Your recoil doesn't go up incredibly with them. The recoil, especially on these versions for some reason. Although, yeah, no, the recoil is a little bit better on these uh, versus the other bubble guns. We need more bubble guns, goddammit. Bubble linear rifle. I need it. Um, ooh, bubble multi-rifle like the Karasawa. Coral bubbles. That's what we need. That's right. Um, but yeah, no. This will allow us to stay at the medium range. And honestly, bubbles are fucking devastating, man. The fact that they don't do much stagger damage makes you think that they're not doing anything. But the damage, man. The damage can get in us. If more bubbles hit, obviously. Close range is probably going to be the better play uh, in general. We weren't even finished uh, optimized necessarily, but yeah, like 1,000, 2,300 damage if most of the bubbles hit. Close range is probably better, but you can chip them away with a little bit of a tap fire at a range, which is great. Tap them off of that. Use a diffuse cannon, all the good stuff. Get a shield parry into the diffuse. Be also pretty solid. But yeah, no. If you tap fire, you get a lot more accuracy, methinks. I'm just looking at the uh, parts. It's so close range. Well, it seems overkill on a range when you are going to be firing mostly up close with bubbles. And you would think so. That's the thing. Because of the diffuse, um, what's it called? Cannon spread. You can fire a pretty nice um, 130 range, which is still close range. Go to 160. You're still getting some pretty nice snipe. And again, if you tap fire the bubbles, you get a lot of accuracy out of it, which is great. Yeah, but no, this build definitely will probably work better in close range, but the fact that it can work in medium range, like the original build itself, is pretty solid. So I would say if you're a little more patient, medium range, you'll get rewarded with it. Obviously, you're less more evasive, part of the hit. You're doing so much passive damage without the stagger bar going up a lot, which is so great. Oh, man. Bubbles are deadly. And a diffuse cannon can work at a decent uh, medium range. The fact that we're beyond 160 and we're doing 500 to 800 damage is kind of nuts. That's just naughty. I see what you're going for. Cool. Hell yeah, brother. I think we need other arms with higher melee spec. Uh, maybe. I mean, there's a lot of arms that even have a 100 melee spec, I'm pretty sure. So, let's see. 100 melee, 100 melee, about 100. 
less than 100, but honestly, if this had 100, that'd be insane. 100, 100, almost 100, 100, almost 100, 100, <laughs> nowhere close. 100, 100, less than 100, less than 100, 100, less than 100. Honestly, a lot of them have pretty decent. But I get you. <laughs> bubble beam bubble cannon slash bubble shotgun I agree a charge bubble ooh like an Elden Ring where you just use the uh, bubble sorcery make a huge bubble that tracks really slowly and then just absolutely obliterates you I like that <laughs> I think that would be sick yeah, but no, definitely have to test it out a little bit in the uh, PvP against being shattered. We'll definitely fine-tune it down to its basic, but yeah, no. I can see the wall's working if you're a little more patient, but if you want to just get in and barrel stuff with, like, the cannon and make sure all your bubbles hit with, the, with just spraying and praying, then yeah, I'll sell, so definitely be it. Yeah, but rocking at 330, SPD, not too bad, not too shabby. One hundred is base. I agree. Essentially, is uh, flat equal to an uh, proper damage. I get you. Get you. I'm gonna remove my own party. Let's go. Decrease damage. Base and anything over a hundred increases it over base. I believe. Yeah, I get you. I get you. I get you. Yeah. Well, considering, yeah. I mean. Bash is only 100, it's only 50 above. If the 100 is base, only 50% extra or 50. It depends on how much each value of each uh, number actually goes up to, which I can't say I know the exact specifics of, but it to be making the difference. It do be making the difference. But the fact that melees themselves always just do great damage. I mean, I can't really think about melee that does D, that does like his poor damage other than the uh i mean the the stun baton doesn't do that bad of damage it's just outmatched by the dagger in like every single way egg indeed very egg now we need more chainsaws dude i want more physical melee weapons i think that'd be so sick like we only have the pile bunker i guess you could count the explosive thrower and the double trouble chainsaw i want more physical kind of the laser lance but yeah, no. I want like a physical sword or like a sword with like uh, laser fucking ends on the blade. I think that'd be kind of cool. The eggs are here indeed. Whenever in doubt, remember the world is an egg. And that's like fact. Yeah, but having like a physical MT shield, flamethrower, melee weapons like Balteus. Oh man, there's so many cool things I could add. Yo, young, welcome to Humble Board. Welcome back. We need a coral slicer. Oh, God. I don't know about all that, brother. <laughs> Slices are already pretty good. Having a coral variant would be cool, but a little too OP, dude. The world is an egg. Time to crack it open. Dear God. Dear God. Energy mace. Well, we kind of already have the uh, hammer. That's kind of a mace. Good old hammer. Slash morning star and axe. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> That'd be sick. That would be badass. Having a type of like uh, a Kimbo melee would be also be pretty sick. Like I've heard in recent, or not recent, uh, previous installments, previous games, you could have two melees on both hands. That'd be neat if in, in this game you could have a melee on your right hand, but it technically it overrides your other one as well, so you have to run it akimbo, a power stance it. That'd be pretty neat. Don't know what it would be and how good it would be, but that would be still pretty cool. Hammer is similar to a yo-yo. You right, you right. I was thinking about a drill like a lance. Ooh, that'd be cool. Oh, 
or give us the ability to change the color on laser and pulse weaponry. Oh, that'd be cool. Well, you can't really... Mm, that's the thing. Changing the color of it would be kind of neat. Not the texture, I guess. Yeah, because if you... Because mm, thing, like, you see uh, blue well, lasers shooting around. That's obviously laser damage. You see purple. That's uh, plasma. The thing is, they are very different textures in the, you know, electricity and the uh, energy beam. So you can keep that and then change the color based off your generator. Or just have uh, changing the gen or the flames, the booster colors, as an actual customizable part would be sick. But, you know, or just add more gens that have more uh, color differences. Overall, just having actual customizable parts in the game would be pretty cool. Just, like, don't affect performance at all. Just are customizable. Like, have, like, metals on your, uh, metals on your AC. Um, stuff like that. Cloaks, like, clothing pieces, like a big-ass cape. Imagine that, a hood and cape on an AC. That'd be kind of sick. Be very strange, but pretty dope. You could wear it like a cloak. We were talking about it last Fight Club. We were doing it yesterday. You wear like a cloak to hide your weapons, conceal them, and then in the fight you uncloak to reveal what you have. That'd be kind of neat. It was mostly blade, well, uh, blade arms that allowed that. I see. Some special right side melee. I see. But classically, it was left arm only most of the time. Mm. Coral has the coral effect. True, true. True, true indeed. It's so weird if we can't put decals on weapons. Having decals, not uh, not being able to put decals on weapons, having the customization lock whenever you download an AC or you load one from the presets is also strange. Lots of uh, quality of life that could be added to this game, he thinks. <laughs> think four answer had laser blade arms Ooh, that'd be cool it'd be cool if they brought that back yeah i'm excited for the next armor core or that's going to be a armor core 6.0 type deal with the, like invasions and co-op and tons of more uh build intricacies and stuff like that i think it'd be really nice good stuff for sure sims core 6 you right you right Oh, different, ooh, different uh, gens cause different effects for the of the laser. That'd be neat. Or pulse. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> yeah, the cosplay armor decor is nuts. Or support parts. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. It would be so insane if they were to make the... Obviously, they wouldn't. FromSoft doesn't have to make uh, many games on Game Pass. Hell, the only FromSoft game I think that will ever be on Game Pass, other than maybe some other um, stuff they did, not like Souls and Armored Core. The only one they have on Game Pass right now is Sekiro because of uh, Microsoft buying Activision and Call of Duty and stuff like that. Because Activision helped make Sekiro. That's why it's on Game Pass. But uh, it'd be nice if Armored Core, at least this one, 6, was on Game Pass. As this is kind of like a uh, a new player entry into the series. A lot more simple. It's them bringing it back, trying to be safe. You know, it's a 10-year 10, 10 gap between the last game I hear. So this game is definitely a testing ground. And I'd say it succeeded. It didn't grab the world like Elden Ring. But it still had the world for a couple months. Everyone got on to play it, at least. Which I think is a W in my book indeed so preferably they make the next game and they add just a bunch of cool shit lots of innovations lots of uh ballsy plays lots of cool stuff but it'd be kind of neat if this game were to go to game pass some more people could get on and play it for free because i know a lot of people that think it's neat but they just don't want to spend those schmeckles but hey man those uh, a couple clams it's worth it this is a goddamn game and a half finished game on release absolutely epic the best pvp balancing and attention i've ever seen from a fromsoft game considering in souls it's kind of like uh story first pvp seconds and oh boy do you feel it in the early days the early days of elden ring oh my god early days of this game not as bad definitely not as bad nothing was like game breakingly broken necessarily we just thought like <laughs> tank 
uh, tank Gatling guns and stun needles were absolutely cracked because we didn't know how to play around them at all. And the Zims were pretty nuts, and Vientos were indeed nuts, and a lot of things were really good, but nothing was, like, crazy broken, especially when you compare it to Elden Ring on Week 1. Elden Ring Week 1, you could just use the uh, incantation, what was it, uh, Flame Cleanse Me, or no, not Flame, uh, hmm, what was it called? Something Sin, Burn Sin, or something like that. But basically, it's the incantation that sets yourself on fire, and then any, uh, <laughs> wow, any effect you have on your blade will get uh, transmitted to anyone nearby. So you could just put Death Blade on your weapons with the Eclipse Shuttle, walk up to near one, knock, well, walk up to someone, and then just, they'll start dying. Fire Deadly Sin, that's it, thank you. Yeah, you just walk up to someone, and it will start inflicting Death Blade on them at a pretty fast rate, too, and then, boom, they're dead. Like, what the fuck? Then you had the, uh, Carrying retaliation, uh, magic parry uh, exploit where you would parry your own magic like grenades, um, and then you get invisible daggers above you that no one else would see, and then they would go off and do like a bajillion damage and kill people. So that was also cool. <laughs> There's so much, man. Uh, it was definitely a time to play. A wave of gold was bugged. Rivers of blood was at an all-time high. Moonvale, ah, uh, such good times. And then see, Coral is a damage type that none of the parts in the game have uh, defenses against. Uh, yeah, pretty much it just, it's, it does its damage, which is indeed unique in the fact that it can't be boosted by anything else. Um, I guess you could say, like, Moonlight, Red Shift Moonlight is kind of the exception, because it can be boosted by melee spec, but that's only probably because it's a melee weapon. Um, but yeah, no, it ignores all defenses, so it just does that direct more or less direct damage every time, which is pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good against tanks and stuff like that. You can actually shred them without worrying about their defenses taking care of most of the damage. But all right. So I think we're done with Sula for now. Or not Sula. Wow, this is not Sula. Just so used to taking Sula from our fight club yesterday. Ran in a lot of that. Similar type. Got bubbles. Pretty much the same lad. But yeah, no. Um, I think I'll end up running Ocellus anyway for my own playstyle when we do the PvP test. But yeah, no. Luck ain't good. Not much else of a place to, uh. Made a link. Choo choo. Just to be our lad. Yeah, optimized up. A lot more durable. Superior weaponry. Looking good. Definitely not lore accurate, but. No, that's not exactly what we're aiming for. Alright. Do we have any other builds, player builds to optimize? What are we thinking? I would say to fix shock in this game, the damage should um, scale to the uh, EN of the enemy AC. That'd be interesting. Did I spy a wheelchair? <laughs> he did. That's uh, probably, yeah, this is uh, my catalog of builds. We have the Reforges, which are all the red guns and some other popular characters like Rusty and Carla and Rami and stuff like that. We have a other project we're working on where I'm gathering the strongest um, or, well, well most well-fine-tuned Requiem builds because I'm going to be doing a series, or as I'm planning on doing one, where um, a volunteer, a contestant, will... Um, come to me with their um, PvP build that they want to make better and we'll send them into the Requiem Crucible and where they must fight all of these builds and preferably optimize themselves as they go on to equip themselves for each battle and preferably by the end become much better, much more all-rounded so they can fight a grand variety of uh, different ACs and have good luck doing so. And then we have uh, my list of uh, personal ACs. Some of them are more or less cosplays, I've got Made in Heaven, JoJo's, one of my last PvP build video builds I made, which sounds like pretty solid. Worked out quite well. We got Octopus Prime, Megatron, War Machine, Godspeed, the first PvP build I made. Although he's gotten a little chunkier in the core since last time. But yeah, good times. Iron Man, 3v3 build, all that cool stuff. My own take on the BVO, Larpster, light version of him. My uh, double melee boy, which I guess is another one of this double melee. And then a kite. 
uh, fashion boy that I just kind of play around with. And then an uh, upgraded version of the wheelchair. Just absolute damblage, 3v3 menace. And then something else I'm working on. And uh, yeah, other stuff, other projects. Now we have ourselves the Requiem of the current the current lineup of Requiem. Indubitably. That's it. Discord or chat? Uh, what time? If you have a build you want to optimize, you can put it here in the chat, or you can put it as a comment in the most recent uh, recent video, or yeah, you can put it in the uh, Discord in the Requiem Workshop. So basically, an endless rush hours. Oh yes, indeed. <laughs> Can I DM you a picture of my current? Yeah, sure thing, man. Not sure if you touched that one. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll be definitely down to take a look, man. It'd be funny if one of the co-workers uh, takes notes from our talk. Ah, yes. <laughs> Unlikely, but still, that would be pretty heat. Where do I send in my builds? Ah, uh, yeah, you can either just put them here in the chat, most recent Requiem video, or on Discord. If you're in the Fight Club Discord, you can put it in the Requiem Workshop, indeed. You sent me one, gotcha. And DMs, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Can't really unless you got X, uh, Armor Core on Xbox. You can join the uh, Armor Core Fight Club, even if you're not on Xbox. We got PC people in there, so PlayStation people. It is an Xbox Fight Club, so you won't be able to participate in a whole lot of events, but you can still chat around, share knowledge. All that cool stuff. The Requiem Workshop is open to all. Are you on PC? Myself? No, I'm on Xbox. Alright, Ronan's got a build. Oh, whoa, we got ourselves a wheelchair. Or heat. Alright. What is your favorite preset to play as? I don't know. I haven't played them all, so I don't have a full opinion yet. Oh, Golden Fire has a build. Head, Veril, Core, Archibus... Uh, core, arms, mind, alpha, legs, spring chicken, reverse joints. Oh, I got the weapons in. Okay, okay. Let's build it up real quick. That is my build. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's get it real quick. Let me just pull it up on my phone so it doesn't get buried in chat. All right, Karasawa, Zim. Gotcha, gotcha. Missile. Double homing missile. I'm guessing you mean the Act 2. Or the Act 02. Gatling. Head Veril. Archivist Core. I'm guessing the 40A. Alpha cool around alpha arms. Well, egg spring chicken. Very nice. What else we got for inner parts? Booster SPD. T 
Talbot. And then GI Coral. Or Coral Generator. Pulse Armor. Or is it Pulse Protection? Spectrum Pulse. Gotcha. Uh, so different Coral. What were we thinking? VP something. The middleweight one. VP 40s. Yeah, I see it. I got you. I got you. Almost died during your first run. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> what the hell? That's, that's pretty cool. Still one of these days going to join in the fun? Hell yeah, man. Gotcha, gotcha. Hell yeah. Have you heard of the freeload run? I have not... I've not heard of such a thing. Alright, save this as data and get to work. Alright, alright, alright. This is definitely interesting. Uh, <laughs> a lot of weaponry. Interesting loadout indeed. Alright, so Zimmerman would dictate close range. Talbot would also dictate close range. Um, the act. Hmm. Just the thing. Um, the Act 2 homing missile launchers are pretty damn solid for medium to long range. As you know, they fire a lot. Their tracking's great. The fact that they're so slow really leans into them being able to turn back around and catch you up and uh, get you, which is always good. But um, at close range, they'll tend to overshoot and then just be over avoidable. They're much better when they can close the distance and then you start to avoid them rather than avoiding them off bat because then they'll have to make a huge turn to come back and they might just detonate by the time they get there or you just see them coming again. But stuff like that. Um, so not the best close range missiles. So I would say we'll optimize these quickly to like Balaam multi six because now we can use these at medium to close range anyway, and they'll be very good at that range. Um, Karasawa is definitely a choice, especially max with matched with Zim. Um, Gatling pretty solid, although in almost any case I usually take the uh, Huxley over the Gatling, considering it will do more in its time. Sure, the reload isn't as fast, definitely. Um, but it will do a lot more in its time while it's up versus the time it takes for it. To, it takes pretty much more time, way more time, double, in fact, or tri about triple, for the Gatling to reach the same amount of stagger and damage that it does for the Huxley by the, Hux, by the time the Huxley goes on cooldown. As well as the Huxley keeps firing despite dodging and keeps its accuracy depending uh, or regardless of the weapons you're shooting because it kind of has the accuracy of like home, uh, mounted missiles instead of cannons. But yeah, basically you use the parts and weapons you get via chests, hunts, and missions completions. Ah, so the parts you earned up by, I get you. That's pretty dope. One stipulation, you must keep the Karasawa. I get you. That's definitely a choice. I wouldn't have it any other way. Badass enemy, but annoying first. I get you. So let's see, yes, yeah, call Huxley. Uh, we'll optimize the parts in a bit for slowdowts. The way I always uh, tend to uh, build ACs or optimize them is the parts uh, reflect the weaponry and the inner parts reflect both. So if I get the loadout finished and then you move on to the parts, or you kind of go back and forth, of course, but generally. All right. Zimmerman. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Zimmerman reverse joints are actually not that bad. Coral booster as well with the reverse joints are actually fucking epic. Alright. Arms. Arms are burden. Really interesting. I guess it's fitting. What other arms could we run? A lander, maybe? What we got for cores? More burden. Yeah, you need quite a bit of weight to hold the car, so I got damn. Quite the bit is dragging us down. Natural speed 300. It's not the greatest. SPD. <laughs> I guess the SPD is pretty necessary right now, huh? It's definitely one to tweak with. Talbot. 
We're going to be close range anyway for our uh, shotgun to work. Might as well just go full Ocellus. Oh, let's play around with it. See what we think it lacks. Extra thick. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, so you pop it out. Not too shabby. Alrighty. Hmm. All right, so preferably I want to get this a lot lighter. So, let's see. What are the lightest arms that can handle these, huh? Go a bit later this way. Yeah, we can run these. Damn. Damn Zabu. Technically a little lighter. Which is nice. Three fifteen, not bad. With ten K AP, also not too shabby. Can we run the lander? Nah. Uh, stability increase not that good, not a wing. What we need. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna need a Lula, we're gonna need the assault boost. Alright, you sent a DM, gotcha. Better heat. Damn boy, he thick. You are correct. I will say I am a beast at making ACs. I see, I see. One's horn has indeed been uh, tooted. Let's see. What else we got? I want to change with the Vera for much. Is there any other arms best in 350 or 310? At least anyway. Nah. Alright, this should be pretty solid. Because the thing, if we're going like burst damage with like Zim and stuff like that, and kicks, like this stuff, we need good assault boost so we can pull off the kicks a lot more consistently. As well as we need decent dodge distance, which means great boost and weight. Uh, so that we can actually, you know move in that type of burst play style while we charge up the car so I'm sure you don't need to always just use full charge car so, but honestly it's uh, probably the better play oh. I do love that the car so uh, being a multi-rifle allows you to great amount of play you stagger someone early you just fucking plasma them up you just want a couple consistent shots laser all the cool stuff I can charge it too while you're bobbing and weaving is great. Yeah, yeah Carso is definitely a cool rifle. I wish they would add more multi rifle more uh, multi purpose energy rifles and stuff like that. Or more uh, different rifles as well. Imagine the type of our uh, assault rifle that had a uh, shotgun attachment or a grenade little grenade cannon. Or a little grenade launcher anyway. The noob tube. That kind of neat. That would be most neat to me thinks. Should there be a mini Sawa? I agree. By the way, Arm by the way, Green, Armageddon was a pain to make in Armor Core 6, I say. As he was made to destroy Demon X Machina or Devin Max. Yeah, hey, I get you, I get you. I get you. Yeah, I got you, Ghost. I seen your DM. You build. All good, brother. Alrighty. I think with this build type of loadout, you'll definitely get uh, nice amounts of stagger. With mi yeah, missile, shotgun, and Huxley should definitely help you with stagger, mixing it with a little bit of kicks, and you should be able to get some nice charged Karasawas off. I think we're pretty good off. Put it in chat just in case. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll get you, man. I get you. Alright, we're a whole lot faster. I have a lot more, uh, less 
counterable weaponry. And we're only slightly a little squishier. But we're a lot faster to make up for it, though. So that's pretty heat. Methinks, methinks. Yeah, it's inspired from or inspired by Armor Core 5. Armor to the Gurra 5. I get you, I get you. <laughs> Alright, let's give her the paint and move on to the next build. Alright, next up, next up. Leave Ronan sent his first, so we'll take a look at his individual play. Alright, let's optimize him up. Alright, Harris and Butt. Good old butt. My favorite melee. Or one of anyway. Not to use six. Gatling. Good old duck head. Lander core. Or is it Lander C3 or what? Yep, Lander C3. Basho. Inner parts, SPD, Talbot, Rota, Sultana. Here he is. Is it one? Nice. All right, thank you, Bonnie. Sleep. Have a good one, Golden Fire. Thank you for showing up. Pieces for now. All right. Oh, young, you got yourself a build. Nice. Laser handgun, ducket, laser orbit, Huxley. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Good old laser kinetic build, indeed. We'll take a look in due time. All right, I imagine this is the current build you're rocking with in your playthrough. There it goes. Sort of just kind of like a, uh, a prototype. If you look uh, closely, it has shoulder weapons and some extra tools like cool off the gen or extra storage or jamming or mini map. And I ah, get you, get you, get you. Heat. Current one, yes. What helped with Ice Worm and Nightfall? Ah, I see, I see. Very heat, very heat. All right, all right, all right. Imagine you use all this for stagger, get up to enough, proc it, and melee. This could definitely work. See if we can do better. Hmm. My first initial thought is to make it a double melee with the explosive thrower, but that's a bit off model. Um, let's switch the, shall we, to the superior. Um... Huxley, indeed. Um, multi of six. I'd probably keep it, although. Yeah, we need less downtime. I was about to switch to maybe like the siege missile, but nah. Too much downtime with a build like this. Uh, Harris charge shot is a pretty epic ting. We could go double Rensetsu, uh, like Javelin and melee. Or double run set suit. Nah, well, that's like a medium range build that we don't really need. Mm, well, yeah, Harris doesn't need to be necessarily medium range. You can just barrel stuff it for the uh, stagger proc. Although, honestly, I think you're better off putting a melee on the back and then having another primary for uh, some stagger buildup. Which, if you don't have the OS tuning uh, to do that yet, I highly recommend grabbing it. It is great. 
Um, what can we use? You can honestly pair these two. The explosive thrower into the Harris is super solid. I think it's just enough. Let's see. Oh, it's like enough either way as long as you don't let the cumulative impact go down. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if my bumper's fucked or there's like a delay in swapping sometimes. Maybe I'm just pressing it at the wrong time sometimes. Don't switch as fast as I'd like sometimes. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, so Harris. Dodge. Supposed to throw her. Melee. Yeah, I think it's just my bumper. That's all even without the missiles assist. That's pretty solid. Definitely get some good uh, stuff there. <laughs> That's pretty heat. All right, but yeah, um, if not, if you want just another type of uh, weapon for some passive staggered buildup, um, you'd run, what else we would run? Another Harris, nah. <laughs> you could run a run set, so you fire these both and then use a charge shot, but. Hmm. Do that in Isogen, could honestly be pretty solid as well. See, lock on. We're only using a missile, shotgun, kick. I wonder is all missiles landing in a shotgun? Enough to stagger. I believe it is. Nice. That could work too. So yeah, it seems like you have a good variety of weapons. My own uh, preference would be to use the explosive thrower, but. That is more preference rather than pure optimization. For purely optimization, to make sure you build up enough stagger consistently without needing to worry too too much about it, I would run something like the Isogen. You're gonna be close to range anyway, so we might also just run Ocellus, and when you you know we bash your arms, it's not like uh, you know, our tracking is so great. Um, SPD, we're close to range aggressive build, plus we get a little more of that uh melee thrust so that's nice just a little bit though which is kind of crazy uh better coral gen for sure although you have to wait a little bit to yep, unlock it pulse armor for pvp assault for pve and then parts to thrive for let's start 44 d probably upgrade the barrel here in a second uh keep basho definitely upgrade the legs to either hal or mind alpha let's see what we got And my alpha it is. Yeah, fucking 340 is nice. I guess 330 is more or less what we're going to be banking for, but honestly, with a build like this, that is very solid. It's like base kit. Yeah, looking good. With our 8 spare, can we run my alpha? Or my beta? Oh, oh my alpha is what I mean. Yes, we can. 330 it is. Cowabunga it is. Sorry if you're off top now, so I could may, you may chat about whatever. I doth not mind. Yeah, something like this is definitely to be strived for, me thinks. What do you think about it so far, there, ghost? Does this tickle your fancy? Does this float your boat? Does this tickle your pickle? Is this Ricky your rat? Does this Jimona your Wayamona? The mind alpha legs are very stylish. <laughs> that they are. I kind of wish they weren't just better than the Hal. Hal legs are, they're my favorite for sure, style wise. I got that armor decor. I love them. But sadly, the mind alpha are just better. They have a lot more health contribution compared to their loss and stability. And they have more defenses, only a little less jump, uh, jump height and distance as well, which won't really make much of a difference depending on the build you're rocking. But in most cases, won't make a difference. They do look pretty drippy, but I kind of don't like how skinny they get up at the top and the hips. Kind of wish, yeah, I just wish this, these were a little bit better. 
But honestly, the difference is minuscule, so you can honestly just run for fashion over optimization, but I do be an optimization boy. They are the GOAT or the top G. They are the new top G, dude. They are. Howls aren't that bad stat. Our howls aren't that bad stat wise. Oh, for sure. I mean, they're goaded. They're one of the best, I'd say. Top five. Maybe top three. But I guess it depends what kind of build you're rocking. But still, you yeah, know. They are goated. Goated on the sauce, I say. I do say. Alright. Let's say we rock with this for now. Being chillin'. Looking good. Alright, let's check what else we get in DMs as well as the Requiem shop. Let's see what we got here. Dual Zim build. My beloved. You put your build in chat, Young? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, alright. I see, I see. Here, I'll get to that first, and then we'll take... We'll tackle DMs, methinks. Alright, let me scroll up. Let me find this thing. There we are. All right, laser handgun and duck it. Good old ah, the laser and uh, physical combination. I see. All right. Or rather, you said laser handgun and duck it. So I should get in that order. There we go. I don't want to go from the bottom top all the time. There we go. I'm guessing laser drones and shite. Laser, laser orbit. Okay. Laser orbit. Uxley frame knockrier alba. Knockrier alba. Knockrier, Alba, Lamagire, Knockrier. Inner Lula. Talba. Let's Talba today. VE 20C. And Assault Armor. Alright. Looks like we got him. How many other builds can you squeeze in tonight? As many as need be, brother. We've been streaming for three hours, 40 minutes. So yeah, I'm good for another like hour or something like that. Or as long as it takes. Mine's as well. Sent you one of mine lore ACs in chat for you to take a look at. Hell yeah, brother. Sounds like good. It's a blasting build. I, I would agree. You started blasting. Me and Shadow upgrade a physical and laser build a while ago. Pretty fun stuff. Alright. Alright, so, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, yeah, laser orbit itself is just, man, it's kind of hit or miss for me. Um, so, laser and physical on the shoulders, as well as these. Alright. Hmm. I wonder how LRA and Rensetsu pair. 
One having quite a bit of recoil, and the other having a little bit. And that reloads match decently, or in terms of uh, having constant fire at all times, is neat. This build is made for a friend. I will take a look indeed. Hmm. Herm. Herm, herm, herm. A stink, a stink. <laughs> herm. He thinks we thinks. Lots of possibility to go energy and kinetic. Go with something like this. Chevy. Reload doesn't exactly match up too well, but you know. You use the Orbis as well. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out the primaries indeed. Get them locked in in the bit of play. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. Laser shoulder weaponry. Not really a whole lot of Guren variety. And they really got pulse cannon. And we have other laser cannons that are neat. Hmm. I mean, nah, well, I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm building a little too heavy. I'll just be a very evasive. Alright, with this setup, we could run Bashio. And maybe we won't have to, depending on how uh, much free speed and stuff like that we have when it all comes down to it. Let's go Elbow, so we have a lot more to play around with. Oh, hell yeah. Pretty much, you know, we're putting uh, yeah, with Celis instead of Talbot. Sure, we could go Talbot considering we're not running Bastio. We have some decent uh, firearm specs, so we can make the difference. However, we're gonna be close range anyway, given our bullet orbit only works in such a close range. Um, also, just better chances of hitting and being that aggressive. And we're 370 anyway, 370 20 VC. Ah, damn, not bad. Uh, assault armor, pulse. Um, yeah, I mean, this so far looks pretty solid. Having this type of exact loadout is a little more of a niche, so I'm not too much to optimize in it, other than to go for like a heavy variant, but that's all right. Hell yeah. Not bad. I'm good with the whatever changes you make. I get you, I get you. As long as the two damage types are both kinetic and energy, get ya, get ya. I'll get ya, I'll get ya. Yeah, for the 370s, is probably as good as you get it. 
Imagine you go shotgun to blow it up, but honestly, yeah. What if this matches a little better? Actually, no, yeah, the cooling on uh, the rifle LR goes back to actually quicker, which is neat. Wouldn't figure it soon it's a rifle, but. Fire rate is faster, I guess, so it will go on cooldown quicker. I think this goes on cooldown actually faster, but comes back quicker too, so. Kind of even themselves out. This one just does more damage. No too shabby. Plus, you always use some assault boost ducats. That's always a good time. That was good to me, man. Looks solid. Welcome back to the land of the living, there, ghost. Yeah, Isogen's pretty good, man. You see Isogen working pretty well, Zim working pretty well, Explosive Thrower. Good amount of variety there. Alright, alright, alright. About the same technical speed threshold. And uh looking good. Alright, next up, next up. Check our DMs, indeed. DMs and or Requiem Workshop. Alright, we got the double Zim melee build. Let's take a look at that real quick. Double Zimmies. What else we got? Balem G1. Damn, alright. I'm going light, light. In the butt. Good old butt. What else we got? Mind bait ahead. Probably knock legs then. What else? Alpha core. Bash your arms, hell yeah, so way to go. BP forty twenty two legs, interesting. Coral booster, oh boy. Walter FCS. Oh boy. Mangtang. And no expansion listed, but I suppose we'll Go with the salt for now. Alright. Uh, CSC. Alright, so a 330, almost 350 build. Not too shabby. Alright, let's get to some optimization. First things first. Inner parts. Coral booster is neat, but definitely not as good as uh, Lula for such a high aggressive lighter build. Plus now we're at 350, which is fucking huge. That's something going to change, though. Probably going to be around 350, 330, maybe. So, might stay sim sim, but we will see. Probably not, though. 330 is probably our actual bet, which is fine, because that's pretty much the speed we're hitting before, anyway. Mind Alpha. Uh, bash Arms for sure. Mind Alpha for now. Might as well. Probably going to end up being Feral Head anyway, so might as well. But definitely keeping that, and might as well upgrade this to the 6L. And you have yourself a fucking go to loadout, methinks. Methinks, methinks. Alright, double sim, multi 6, but. Yeah, very good, very good. It'd of course be a little risque with uh, changing the uh, stag weapon to like the. I recommend, honestly, the. What's it called? Siege missile. Because you have. Sure, it has. A lot more downtime than the multi 6 but you're gonna get a lot more out of it and you already have double zims and kicks and a melee to be your constant pressure anyway so you can definitely uh risk it for the biscuit but as a general optimization then multi 6 is definitely a uh a real good one 
and a pulse armor, as it is most more useful in most scenarios. Ocellus, as that's the actual range we're gonna be in. And either um twenty C Yeah, twenty C for sure. Twenty C or coral, either one. And there we go. Let's paint it up. Grab a screenshot, share it in the DM. A right, little bit less stability, but a lot more HP and defenses, plus the, st the stability loss is not by a lot at all. And uh, practically same speed, down by one point. Looks good to me. Yeah, a thousand more health, not bad. Not bad. Alright, what else we got? See what else we get out of here. Let's head over to the rec room workshop. We got ourselves wheelchair bailed. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Alright, majestic. LMG. Or MG. Is that vertical? <laughs> vertical 4. <laughs> what the hell? Very interesting. Morley. Ooh, I haven't seen this in a while. I used to love the Morley until it got absolutely nerfed to hell. Alright, bash your, bash your, bash your wheelchair. We choose to have no booster, which is our choice. Talbots. Mang Tang. And pulse armor, very nice. 339. Yep, ugged. Right, let's get it. See, see. Alrighty. I can definitely think of some places we are to optimize. Morally useless. Apparently, our back weapons right now are kind of, unfortunately, pretty useless in the current today. Or the current uh, metal, he thinks. I will build that up in a second here. Crow, indubitably. All right, all right, all right. All right. Let's get some useful back weapons, me thinks. All right, first things first. You want missiles for constant stagger, close range. Again, multi 6 is getting a lot of love tonight. Um, although, and actually, you know what? Because we have a bazooka, we might as well run, like, the box missile. Considering, you know, it's going to be on cooldown. Might as well do something productive. Uh, morally, we're just going to switch it to another bazooka. Because bazookas are cool. Hell, yeah, why not? Just another morally. Sure, we could use it as a stagger punish javelin, but... Nah. Actually... Hmm. Uh, yeah, um... You know what? Honestly, yeah. And then we switch this to the explosive thrower. This should be pretty good. Yeah, I can see this get working. A little bit of a swap up build indeed. Oh, arms were burdened, Tom, when I swept to this. Interesting. 
Well, actually, why are we even running bash your arms on a goddamn no melee weapon wheelchair? Might as well run something like Ephemera. Um, oh, well, run bash you because it was on by default. Uh, let's see what else we can run. Uh, what's our current speed? Switching 350, not bad. We switch over to Tang. We got 340. Oddly, not a huge drop in speed. Uh, for our generator, we might as well run some like. Hmm. VP20 seeds get that fast, fast regeneration. Doesn't really matter much. Although, honestly, Coral just have that absolutely mad capacity. Get lots and lots of stamina. Hmm. Talbot. Uh, I guess might as well. Doesn't really affect us by much. Although, actually, no. Nah, let's do Walt so that we can lock up from any range, really. Now nah, we're going to be close range anyway, though. But, mm, yeah, might as well. We get ephemera arms to carry us the rest of the way. We get 100 fire spec, not bad. Switch head to barrel. We see 340, not too shabby. Although, if we switch some like Idelpha Core, what's our speed looking like now? 350? I think 350 movement. Should work out pretty well, methinks. All good, all good. Alright, we'll paint it up, save it over, and then uh, we'll take a look here, scroll. Don't forget to paint. There we go. Alright, what we got? I see. Double Atachi, Devil Soup. What else we got? Wreck your head. <laughs> We love the good old Wrecker head. My Alpha Core. Oh, let's <laughs> Tool arms. Reading it off wrong. Not right. Wait, what? Yeah, Wrecker Head, Mind Alpha Core, Tool Arms, Wrecker. I see, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah okay. I get you, I get you. Our inners, what we got? Gridwalker. Kushi. Oh, I don't think I mentioned the FCS. Oh, no, you did. Okay, 
how'd you get max uh, <laughs> I think you maybe meant the max uh, missile correction but I get you I get you all right here it is all right all right all right although now you're shooting yourself in the foot with the uh, machine gun sort of again I have to change these up may thinks The build's working great. Oh, hell yeah, man. Glad to hear it, mate. Glad to hear it. That is most good. Oh, let's have a build. Go. Go alt for medium to close. Arms. Femora. Legs. Hal. Keep the core. Search the head. Put away D for now. Uh, um, we go SPD, I guess. Generator. Either VP20. No, I can't go VP20C. Coral would have to be. Pulse. Um, these Mishikas are pretty solid for their um, thing, but honestly, your princesses are going to get better out of it. And they're a lot lighter, which also means we can now run Bashio Arms, which means we'll have to be close range, though. Uh, actually, no, we don't. Never mind. We can run Bashio and have Waltz to carry us. It's fine. 310 speed, not bad with such missiles. Although these missiles aren't very good, so I recommend a uh, bit of a butchering, but still. Double missiles. 310 still, very nice. So now we actually might be able to run PB20C. And we're reaching 340, god damn, nice. Which means we can upgrade the legs to Mind Alpha. Basically 340 still. Alright, alright, alright. This boy should be good. We can melt at range, missiles at range, all the cool stuff. Should seem. Actually, you might be able to fire these more often. Uh, well, at least to get a lot more value than these often. Super neat, but if you're going. If your enemy, if, say you have soup and you're fighting your enemy, if your enemy is coming at you, they're more aggressive, the soups aren't going to do a lot. If they're more evasive and want to stay away from you, then that's where they really shine. Uh, siege missiles work literally wherever. In fact, if they want to go only straight for you, they're kind of killing themselves because the missiles are only going to hit them in the back, which is a bad thing, right? For us. Oh, uh, yeah, this should work quite well, me thinks. style of the original AC was just superior but you know armored decor is the is the the enemy of optimization absolutely go to looking fella and then he started to look maxing all right have with we any other builds to take a look at I did screenshot the uh, share hold on. There we are. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, it's lower AC. I get you, I get you. It's an old version you switched up. I get you, I get you. I understand you. Screenshot uploaded to the... Oh. Let's fucking go. All right, all right, all right. Uh, we finish up with all the DMs and the chat, so yeah, if you have yourself a build there, hi, uh, let us know. Take a look real quick, like.
There you go, it's still there in the DMs, just in case for future reference, as well as the good old continuity. So, yep, if any of y'all have a chat, let it be. Or, well, if y'all have a chat, if y'all have a build, let it be known in the chat. Indeed. Oh, there you go, flamethrower. Nice. Good old flamey, flamey builds are always a good time. <laughs> You'll remember fully because you should be asleep, but you're stubborn. Hey, man. Cannot rest when the mind is wandering. AC was named in Pisa. I understand. I do enjoy me some Pisa. Pizza, Pisa, Pisa. Let's see. Alright, so flamethrower by. Alright, so multi 10. Coral missile. Multi 10. Coral missile. And flamethrowers, I imagine? All locked. So, Karasawa. Hmm. And call. Flamethrower, good old back hook. Flamethrower. You want to at least have one weapon in the fire? I get you, I get you. MLT 10. Do you mean the 10 cell uh, shoulder? Missile? That's what I imagine. I'm assuming the napalm launcher for the other weapon. Yes. Coral missile launcher. What else we got? For, what we got for parts? There's her head. Albacore. Ram arms. <laughs> Good old wheelchair. SLT VP twenty C Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, here he is. Save him up. Optimize him indeed. First things first. Switch to 10 cell. Uh, since we're constantly have fire damage, constantly have pressure anyway, might as well have some siege missiles. Uh, Coral missile is pretty heat, but honestly, mixing with a flamethrower, the combo of flamethrower and javelin is fucking insane. Plus, we get a lot more javelins uh, per second and minute, all that good stuff. Then the coral, all oh, the coral is nice. Um, what else? We're a wheelchair, so we can be a little tankier. Femura mm. Core Don't really need the multi Although we don't really need a whole lot of the aim itself Um Yeah Won't matter much Yeah Napalm Launcher is neat, but man, oh man, is it just not good at all. It's cool niche, but man, oh man, man it is uh, yeah, not very good. Go with a Quan G. Get hella fire rate. Go 
Good God. Yeah, something like this could be devastating. I say it's pretty solid. You for anyone a fire based AC, and that's what I gave her. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, you can give her this indeed. Get fire, explosions, missiles, more missiles. What more could one want? I think it's pretty solid. You got one when you get a chance. You can optimize it if you want. Just curious of what you think about it. Help me best on my first playthrough. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, for sure. Share it on in. Share on in, indeed. Boom. Bang chilling. Hell yeah. What have it we? What have it we? Herm, it is lotting. I see, I see. I see you. Your PlayStation is loading, I see. I see. I see, said the blind man. Do you think I had the fun of knowing when you have to buy a console and then buy a membership like the PS5 Plus? Yeah, I think it is pretty stupid. Considering, I mean, that's the thing. I could see, like, a long time ago, Xbox 360, PS3 era, and where you had a lot of games that a lot of them just, you know, they worked offline. They had a lot of content offline. Almost every game had a campaign, no matter what game it was. Stuff like that. Now that everything's online, everything's multiplayer, everything's live service, yada, yada, yada. Um... There's really not a reason for that anymore. So it would be nice if consoles and stuff like that, you know, Sony and Microsoft made a change to be like, yo, now when you buy a console, it has, and you have it, as long as you have an internet connection, you can now play online gaming. But we still have our subscription services for, you know, Game Pass and fucking PS Plus and, or PS Plus's catalog of games with their deals. Like, having your subscriptions for those deals, that's fine. But the fact that you need a subscription beyond paying for the like $500 console and the equipment like headsets, adapters, controllers, like did I say controllers, controllers, adapters, you know, stuff like that. Good TV to run it. Like, oh my God, it's just a lot of money. Yeah, I think it's pretty dumb. I would totally uh, agree with making it. So uh, you can always play online gaming, multiplayer, no matter what, as long as you bought the console, you have internet, internet connection, you're chilling. But you could buy a subscription for, like, Game Pass and shit. Get exclusive deals. Fucking whatever you want. But, you know. Doom. I went full speed on this. Did we already... Did we not? That sounds really familiar. Did we not already upgrade that build? Sounds very similar to this. No, it's different technically. Alright, I see, I see. Alright, dual shampoos, right shoulder plasma. Oh, well, we got that covered. This is slightly different. I get you, I get you. Left shoulder plasma blade, or pulse blade. I get you, I get you. What we got for that stuff? 
Lamb head. Oh boy, we are going for speed. Lamb arms. Lamb core. <laughs> About legs. First round, legs. Okay, interesting. Oh, there are these skinny legs. Where are you at? There you are. SPD. This be do be speedy boy. V twenty S Gen V twenty S Gen. Me V V twenty V twenties Gen. V V twenties, I imagine, yeah. Oh, the plus. Okay, I guess you have to lay plus from lunch. I get you. I get you. I get you. Ocellus. Missing pulse. No, assault armor. Okay. <laughs> get you. I get you. Alright. Four of three arms. Easy chance. Actually, based on how fast and mobile this build wants to be, actually, we go with Vientos. Um, we can keep this plasma, I guess, for now. Melee, of course. Head. 44D. Core. Knockbriar. <laughs> Legs. Go with some like Knockrier. I guess SPT. <laughs> God. Nah, we need the distance. Got the rock VP20C. Pulse. Oh my god, our stability is not there. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty dope. Alright, something like this could work. V20 is the latest one. Uh, I see, I get you. Uh, something like this could work for this type of uh, build format. I mean, realistically, everything above 370 isn't really needed. So this build could definitely be thicker, but if your goal is to just go fucking super high speed, 380 will definitely uh, serve that niche, methinks. I get you, I get you. Alright, but no, this will be, uh, this is my take on a, uh, super where you're prioritizing speed over durability. Obviously, you're prioritizing, uh, you know, your durability and your output over it. Then you go to your other version, indeed, and, uh, be chilling on that front. Later. You do accept the optimization of this crazy boy? I shall dub the crackhead. Because you be zooming around like a fucking crackhead, man. Alright, I believe Crow has a build. Let's take a look. <laughs> he gave him too much coffee indeed 
He got himself an energy drink, man. Alright, what have we? Alright, P19 Multi 04. Alright, so. Uh, Walt 101. Alright, oscillator, gotcha. Dual P28. E twenty eight CNT Oh God, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I never see this in use either. It's kind of like the uh, worst delivery boy, because most of those missiles you had is hit random shit and don't do anything. Also, it's really heavy. But hey, let's check it out. I, don't, I haven't played around with it much for a good reason. Looks pretty sick, though. Looks very uh, sophisticated. What have we got for pots? Alright. Albacore and head. I love the Alba head. Alba head looks fucking sick. Alba core honestly looks pretty stylish as well. Alba core and head. VP 46. VP 46S anyway. Screw up a little, a little bit. And how legs? Gotcha, gotcha. NGI booster. Walt SCS. Portal booster, Argo Gen, anyway. Salt armor. All right. A roadie, a roadie, a roadie. This is definitely one of the lads of all time. Yeah, we're about to fucking fill up the uh, <laughs> the amount of builds we can have to 40 builds. God damn. All right. So let's uh, play around with these missiles and see uh, just how unusable they are. Let's see though. <laughs> let's check them out. Alright, so they're like cannons. They're like the only missiles that like don't lock on. Does they even go after the target, necessarily? God, the reload is nuts. God, they're so shit. Why do these exist? What the fuck? What the fuck? If you're not even hard locked, they don't even go after the target. What the hell? What? Oh my god, these are awful. <laughs> what the fuck? I never knew how bad these were. So they only detonate if they're near a target. Oh my god. Yeah, these are... <laughs> the, uh, here's the optimization for these. You just get rid of them. And then boom, your build's infinitely better. Only for rats and kites. <laughs> I don't even... Dude, I would take almost anything over that. Versus, oh my god. I never have that problem. Oh man. Oh man. They uh yeah. Oh man. 
All right. Here's their optimized variants, aka better. Oh my God, <laughs> Jesus Christ, they are they're definitely something. Oh man. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, they uh, they need to go back into the shop. Like I said, it's old PvP build and C rank. I get you, I get you. Oh man, <laughs> what the hell? They, those are definitely some of the weapons of all time. All right, let's optimize these, baby. All right, chunkier rat. The oscillator. Let's get some more oscillator damage. A little thicker. Run SPD, because we don't really need to chase anyone down. Walt FCS. Uh, FCS really doesn't matter, actually. So I guess we just go max missile lock. Because it really don't matter. Uh, VP20C, maybe? Yep, we can run VP20C or a Coral. Either or. Pulse Armor. Um, Mind Alpha, 350. That's heat. Then, yeah, chilling. Looking good. I can start your battle off by firing these out. A little bit of missiles. Show sure, whoop. There you go. God damn. That is some damage. Wabadoo. 8k. My god. It's kind of nerdy. Yeah, but I can see, honestly, firing all those missiles and then use the charge, and they won't be able to fucking... It's going to be hard to dodge all the missiles and your oscillator sweep. He did tell me he was old as fuck. That's true. That's true. I was warned, to be fair. Alright. Faster, stronger. Has two more weapons. In the previous build, that's pretty good to me. Still, goddamn, that tracking is trash with the old one. Yeah, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Why is it even in the game? I, I often forget that that exists. Is that honestly? I think that's the first time I've ever actually used it. I mean, nah, I tested it once just to see what was up. I was like, "Ooh, this looks cool." <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lo and behold, it's uh, not that cool. No wonder he made a Zimmerin rush down build, indeed. I would agree. <laughs> My god, that's awesome. Alright, have we any other builds to take a look at? Indeed. Yeah, I'll stick with Zim's. Zimmermans. Yeah, I agree. I'll say I love me some double Zimmy rushdown. Good fun times. Good times indeed. Alright, alright, alright. We've been streaming for almost five hours. That's so pretty heat. That is a pretty gangsta. <laughs> it is pretty dope. Those missiles are OP, I'd say. Nerf them. I would love if the fucking FromSoft just nerfs them in every patch. It's just a joke. That'd be great. Or hell, next update, they're buffing it to be absolutely fucking OP. Even longer stuff, like in calls. Oh yeah, I get you. For sure, for sure. Time is an illusion. But you know, well, I think that's all the builds. Hell, we're gonna run out of room pretty soon anyway. 
We've got the reforge of V6, so me and Shadow will be doing that testing tomorrow, as well as uh, I'll hope to have a promo video for the 30v30 tourna tournament, indeed. So that should be pretty good. Should have that out soon, either tomorrow or the day after. You've been in call for 11 hours. I hear that. I hear that. The, the Xbox parties go hard, dude. Once it's like 3 a.m., you and the boys, the chats become biblical. Biblical. That's it. Biblical. The bibble. Yeah, shit's great. Just with a friend? Yeah, I hear ya. I hear ya. I hear ya. The deep conversations. Like, god damn. I agree. I agree. All right, all righty. Well, I think I'm going to retire the stream for now. I appreciate you and everyone else who came up, or came out and showed up, and gave some bills, gave some feedback, all that cool stuff. But, you know, I'll catch y'all in Requiem. Requiem, well, goddamn, so many people have said it like that that I'm, now I'm saying it. See y'all in Requiem and Dirty Forge and stuff like that. Indeed. Have a good one. Peace, Acro. Peace out, y'all. All dolls. Ricky Rat. Remember.